BBH Rio 1 BBH Rio 2 Nagaming. 70 bits, oh boy!
Yes. Delicious Violent Storm OST. It's important to start the stream with hot jams. Especially a stream like this, which is primarily going to have incredibly stank MS-DOS beeps and boops. <laughs> It's important to get the it's important to get the good music out of the way early. <laughs> Let me see here. Mokushiba, thank you for the follow. Daiokuyasu, thank you for the follow. Fiddle, thank you for the follow. Ultimo, thank you for the 100 bits. Space Hoppercopter, thank you for the 70 bits. Oh boy, I think I think that's everything except for this frog race that just got redeemed. Hit the frog button. Seventy-eight hundred Donkey Kong. I don't know if anything can match that soundtrack. That was a pretty hot one. Place your bets. You're talking about Jersey Mike's, unsponsored, by the way. Although Danny DeVito is in those commercials, so if I could get in on those, if I could get sponsored by Jersey Mike's, I could maybe meet Danny DeVito. Is that Zetsubera posting in chat like a normal person? Like I'm not about to draw really loud attention to the fact that it's his birthday tomorrow? <laughs> Axel Kingdom Hearts! So long, suckers. I rev up my motorcycles and create a huge cloud of smoke. <laughs> when the cloud dissipates, I'm lying completely dead on the pavement. Oh, thank you for the thank you for the 100 drill tweets. That ended up pretty even. Bort is at 27%. Horrible sandwich frog at 26%. Pretty even for everybody though. Best of luck. Start the frog race. What song is this? This is the frog race song from Metal Max. Wait, Frog the Jam has the huge lead, though! He goes for it! Can't believe it. Frog the Jam. He's done it. This is the regular Frog Ray song from the original Metal Max. Yeah, I cannot explain this concept any more clearly. Pay it out to Frog the Jam. Frog number three. 268,000 new yen given to 25 lucky winners. That's a lot of betters for the first frog race of the day. Usually the first one <laughs> has like 10, like 10 to 12 people that won. No. Congratulations slash condolences, everybody that just won and or lost. Yeah, big, huge bucks. What are we doing today? Hi, hello, everyone. We've had some very, uh... The people stop punching dudes at ran in. You might be right. I mean, we've played some pretty comparatively relaxing with my money. games lately. I made sure it would be pretty even. You can thank me later. Is that THE even, Steven? Thank you for the dollar he do. What are we doing? It's a good question. We've played games that did not require much, uh you know, dexterity in any way, shape, or form. Lots of turn-based RPGs and or relaxing golf video games, but I have an overwhelming urge to punch dudes. And I feel as if we've already played the majority of the, you know, the beat-em-ups that people would expect me to play. I'll tell you what not many people expect me to play. We're playing Street Fighting Man for MS-DOS. <laughs> we must play Street Fighting Man today. Yes, this is what I need in my life. You were all baited into Sandwich Frog. Thanks for the new yen. Notes. Yo, Frog the Jammer. Thank you for the dollar he do. Obviously, we have to play Street Fighting Man today. That's him. That's the Street Fighting Man. Let's take a look at the- yeah, you can get a free issue of PC Games Magazine. Let's take a look at the back of the box, see what we're in for. 
Are you ready for a challenge that'll test your game playing abilities to the max? If so, read on. You controlled Nick the Hammer on a rescue mission that'll take you onto the streets of five of the most dangerous cities in the USA. The streets are controlled by gangs possessive spelled wrong of their turf and a trespass always starts a rumble. I am so ready for street fighting, man. Oh, thank you, Typus, for the 100 streets. Street fighting men, homeboys, lipsticks, sharks, and other gangs roam at will through an incredible street and hideout maze of unique 3D graphics. Nick the Hammer is a quote bad dude, unquote. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sadly, Sega didn't allow me to show up in the latest Sonic game. He'd be too powerful. He they couldn't possibly get the rights. He, they don't got Street Fighting Man money for to license that. Thank you for the dollar he do. Nick the Hammer is a bad dude himself, and his punch and kick abilities are the equal of any street warrior. <laughs> E-Tanks! Thank you for the raid! How many more alerts are gonna happen while we try to get through the back of the box? Thank you for the raid! What were y'all up to? He will also need his full armory of weapons, including knives, crowbars, and chains to survive in the urban jungle. Vagrant story. Nice, oh, yeah. nice, nice. Warning, don't be fooled by any friendly bystanders, as they could end up becoming just as dangerous as the most vicious gang member. The battles are bloody, the graphics superb, beware, you play at your own risk. Well, I'm convinced. Chop Chop Master Onion. Punch and kick, you say? Looks like Nick the Hammer has got it all in the mind. I get that reference. I get it. I saw that screenshot in the top left and viscerally heard the Paperboy song. <laughs> the sheer panic on my face, let me tell ya. Yeah. Uh, for lack of a better way to describe it, Street Fighting Man is uh, an isometric beat-em-up. I'm sure those two words put together <laughs> have immediately made some of you vomit. But wait until we're in. <laughs> I love street fighting. No, oh, thank Man. you. Thank you, Trey Blaze. Thank you, Ray Cat. Thank you, Chop Chop Master Onion. Where is my MS DOS? Huh? Aha! There you are. I've located my MS DOS. We are now prepared to play Street Fighting Man. What is happening? Big battle. Are we going to see Ruin's neck? What is he? What's he saying, chat? Analyze. So when do we play Ultra Super Street Fighting Man, Man. Turbo Hyper Fighting Champion Edition, Dash Alpha 3? And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks. Yo, Eva, thank you for giving uh, Graveyard Ghoul a sub. Big battle. Dan fan, thank you for the 100 bits each. I would prefer to have it in EGA mode, yes. Oh, I gotta put this on the stream deck first and foremost, so that I can control the audio so that we don't all IMMEDIATELY EXPLODE! Would I like to use the joystick? Nah, I'm good. I mean, not Ryu and not Ken. Oh, that makes more sense. This is not a fighting game. This is a beat-em-up. Do I want music? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, hell yeah! Turn that up, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Turn that back down. Is this just double dragon? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Wait until we're in. You'll be like, this is just like double dragon. 100%. Gang violence strikes in Denver! We have five different cities that we have to cleanse oh my gosh. of all evil. We've got Denver, Atlanta, which according to the bottom of the screen is cool. We've got Detroit. Gang violence runs rampant. Detroit is a bad city, it says on the bottom of the screen. 
Gang-related deaths skyrocket in Los Angeles. And then finally, dozens are dead. There is big trouble in New York. But I suppose we have to start in Denver, which is recommended for beginners. Fair enough. Nick's true love, Shiana, has been kidnapped. We gotta go rescue her. We're in, baby. Look at Nick the Hammer. Look at him go. If this is a double dragon clone, then why does the game sound like it's ripping off Street Fighter? I don't know. Does this look like double dragon to you? What do your eyes say? What do you think? <laughs> Nick is very cool, is the good news. Marty is weak! He's got a good face, I agree. He's got the... <laughs> he's got the two dots in a line. We're fighting the fat boys and the sharks. Yeah, here's shark territory. Hello, miss. I don't think you pose a threat. No shad rock. Double dragon these nuts. Very Hi, good. Dear, no, I'm helping the hype train continue. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. You're all. There we go. Had to get them all out of the way. Nick is a tough guy because you see, as you kill enemies, you gain health. That is the red strength gauge on the right side of the street. Uh, right side of the screen. Oh. oh, give me that! No, give me this weapon. Yes. Excuse me. The bouncer. Oh shit! They are attacking. Come here. Nick is a bad dude. <laughs> this guy is still dead on the ground. Yeah, the Nick is text. Just it's a, just a rough estimate of how much health we have. You gain health in this game by killing dudes. You must sate your bloodlust. Ultimo. Moonwalk at home. Took a shot. Take a shot. I I mean, it doesn't. It's not any of those really. What's up, Duke? <laughs> Big battle. But is Nick a bad enough dude to rescue the president? I'd buy that for a How many more games can we reference? I'm sure we'll land on one that's close at some point. Thank you for the 100 bits. Nick rules! Oh, girl! I've rescued my girlfriend. Never mind, my girl's gone again. That was quick. My girl's gone and Nick is a wimp. Can't have shit in this house, dude. Can't have shit in Denver. Wait, we rule again. There's no way this is called Street Fighting Man. You sure? How certain are you? <laughs> Marty truly is the last ninja. He's the last ninja. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Shadrock. It's a doctored image, eh, right? True. Real. So we have two buttons, we have a punch, and a kick, and if you press them at the same time, you can crouch. This is used to pick items up off of the ground, and as far as I'm aware, that's it. We have one simple objective. It's not just to kill all the crime, right? We're gonna kill all the crime regardless, but... Our girl has been kidnapped by multiple gangs per stage. So we already went to the sharks part of town, and then we took all the sharks out, and then we rescued our girl, but then she was immediately kidnapped. Now they're in the now she's in the fat boys part of town. So now we gotta go save her from the fat boys as well. There she is. Yo, Canada, thank you for the 17 all years. Trini. Once we get to the last level, would we be able to call that the final fight? Very good. Excellent. Oh, 
girl is rescue. We've done it. Ultimo. Nick rules. Nick rules. He did it. He does have a very powerful mustache. Well, we're done with business in Denver. Her name is Shiana, yeah, with an X. All right. Now we have to go to Atlanta. <laughs> you want the newspaper to change? I wish. Sadly, no. There's just like five stages. They all have their own like unique victory graphic at that point. The game is considered done. I think we're the 100 eyes. We're going to Atlanta, which apparently is cool, according to the bottom of the screen. Nick is so fucking cool. <laughs> It's so fucking cool, Nick the Hammer. Yeah, Denver recommended for beginners. I mean, have you? Have, I've never been born in Denver, so I didn't like. I I I kind of chose a high level part of the world to spawn in, right? I should have started off in Denver. We're going to Atlanta. Hello, Miss. Do you attack me? Are you friendly? You are friendly. I have what appears to be a chain. Entering shark turf! Yeah, we have a pearl necklace! <laughs> Jose is down! Nick is cool! Wait, give me this. Yes, crowbar. Proto common. What I was trying to say before I was so horribly interrupted, I'm willing to bet Nick is a relative of Mike Hager because of that wonderful mustache. <laughs> he does have a very powerful mustache. He doesn't on the box art, though. Nor does his sprite have a mustache, either. Only on the victory screen does he produce a mustache. Oh, that was quick. So yeah, at the top left corner of the screen, you can see all of the gangs that are on this stage. All the gangs that are in this town, right? Who dares? Retrograde Tom! Thank you for the raid! Nick to the rescue. We've rescued our girl. We've rescued our girl from the sharks. Unfortunately, she was immediately taken by one of the two remaining gangs in Atlanta. Black Shield Legion! What do you mean with my money? That dust pink skin color. <laughs> it's very good. A big fan. Thank you, Retrograde Tom. What were y'all up to? I imagine you were pointing and or clicking on things. Yeah, Wimp with an H. Oh. Oh. Help. Of course his name is Tyrone. What else would they have named him? Ooh, I got kicked off screen. Die. Okay. Damn, he's good. Marry me with my money. Nick is cool. Nick has life under control. <laughs> Nick is not sad about wife leaving Nick. No. Nick can get it together. Nick needs to buy sunscreen. <laughs> he needs to buy sunscreen. Sayara, they were the fifty-one whole years. Nick, thank you for the dollar he do. Yeah, every sprite, they're all the same name, Kuninga, so, uh... Welcome I believe this character's God. name Get is ready. Sung Yi. Yeah. Sung Yi is cute. Sung Yi is weak. Sung Yi is dead. So every sprite <laughs> of that <laughs> is gonna be Sung Yi. Ha! Who dares? Ha! Huh? Oh shit, it's the feds! Nick is a cop killer. <laughs> oh shit, they got a secret hideout! 
Entering Fat Boy's turf. Good. <laughs> Nick did Good. nothing wrong. And yo, you shad rock. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Yo, thank you for the gift sub to Nick. Nick the Hammer. Ultimo. Babu's police Kiki is Nick Nicky's rule. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for all of the support that's happened. There's a lot happening this stream for some reason, but thank you. I will try to keep up with it. Meanwhile, we're trying to traverse the incredibly dangerous streets of Atlanta, I guess. Wait. Yeah, Fat Boy's Turf, that's where we need to be. Help. Help. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, the triple! We've rescued our girl from the Fat Boys! She's immediately been kidnapped by the scum dogs! <laughs> now we have to figure out where in town the scum dogs are. <laughs> it just never ends, dude. No, now we're in homeboys turf. Where are the where is the scum dogs part of town? Help. Help. Eh. 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 I'm just going to hop kick. I got pushed off screen. <laughs> Good. Ultimate fighting technique. Just kind of do jump kicks and spin in a circle. The good news is Nick rules. I don't know on what grounds does he rule, but God damn it, he rules. You walk up to Tekken pools is what, yeah. <laughs> Nick is a killer. I'm getting juggled into the scenery. Nick is Mondo Macho. No, this is back to the Fat Boys turf. You wouldn't expect to be able to get lost in a beat em up, and yet. At least the gangs have consistency. That's true. They only seem to let multiple copies of the same exact person. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. It did say something about mazes on the back. That's true! How did Mastertronic make such an open world banger? They'll never... There'll never be another game like Street Fighting Man. It's too powerful. Yo, fish and chips! Thank you for the seven old years. Oh my goodness, get juked. Ooh, I found the scum dog's turf! Alright, we're in the right spot. Pardon? Excuse me? Thank you. Oh, look at this fucking guy. Max wants revenge! Max is weak! We got him. Alright, we got the crowbar. Yeah, oh boy, here I go killing again. Help. This <laughs> is a high ally stick. Yeah, might as well be. 
That's a much funnier mental image. There's so many maxes. Help. I'd like to grab that crowbar. You've, you've stolen my crowbar. I'll never forgive you. Holy shit, I'm getting cooked! Wait, wait, we're so back. 70 bits, oh boy. Black Shield Legion! That's a whole paragraph. Bellwether City, a well-known crime capital, has been ruled by violence and death for many years. A fact which newly elected mayor and former Twitch streamer Dino please plans to change. At the center of the problem is the DJ Jazzy Jeff gang. DJ Jazzy Jeff controls all of the major criminal activities in the city. When they learned of Dino's plans, they took immediate action to bring this mayor under their control. Yeah, thank, you the 124. thank you for the 100 whole paragraphs of definitely not reading all that. Thank you. <laughs> we chuckled it for two hits. Uh-oh. Oh, I lost my crowbar. Eh. Huh? Eh. No, I need that back. No, I need that back. Nope, nope, I'm gatekeeping the crowbar. Nope, it's mine. <laughs> I truly get a sense of how much danger I'm in. Fighting on these streets. Jesus Christ, there's so many dead maxes. Girl is get! We have saved the day in Atlanta. We have rescued our girlfriend from three gangs. <laughs> what a lucky girl. <laughs> Didn't she get kid? For those of you keeping score at home, she's been kidnapped five times so far. And it's only stage two. All right. We're done in Denver. We're done in Atlanta. Now we have to go to Detroit. Where gang violence runs rampant, according to the Detroit Recorder, which may or may not be a real newspaper. I don't know. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So according to the top left corner of the screen, we've got we got to deal with the sharks, the homeboys, the fat boys, and the scum dogs. There are four different gangs that we have to. <laughs> we have to save our girlfriend from how did she get kidnapped good question I thought we had saved the day somewhere on route to Detroit bad things happened <laughs> who's the weakest I have no idea the fat boys seem pretty weak that was the same as the paperboy newspapers you can't convince me this and Paperboy are not in the same universe. It would explain why it's isometric. It definitely would. If this was like a Paperboy beat-em-up, and Nick the Hammer is actually the Paperboy kid, <laughs> this would be the greatest game of all time. Yeah, we got nunchucks at the moment. There's a nice lady standing there. She's not doing anything suspicious. She definitely does not work at Pete's Porn, I'll tell you that much. What is that sound? Alright, everyone's dead. We're going in. There is a girl. Thankfully, she's covering up everything that'll get us banned. Did the music just change? The music's gone. That's what happened. Be <laughs> convenient, Boa. Is this music? Sounds much more sinister. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this hidden? Oh, girl! 
Rescue girl! Eh. Help. Eh. Mm -hmm. Max is weak. Yes! Rescue girl. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why did it boot me Not out ready. entirely? Yo, K, uh, K7000. Why did that boot me all the way out of Detroit? Sounds good. I like what I'm hearing. Alright, new plan. Let's go after a different gang first. Right? Maybe that was the problem. Maybe we were supposed to target someone else first. <laughs> Did I jump the gun? I haven't done anything. Uh oh. No, I need that. Don't you run away with my crowbar. Eh. Huh? Yeah, I know we got banned from Detroit. That was quick. <laughs> Did it really say Tyrone to be mad now? Fucking Christ, dude. Oh god, it does say that. I'm sure they'll find a way to do something worse. <laughs> I'm sure they'll find a way. At some point, the song changed. It wasn't right when we entered Detroit. Oh, wait, we're getting tons of health back. Let's fucking go. Entering the hideout, yes. Love the paint peeling off the walls. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Look at this hideout with its window all the way in the corner. <laughs> Paint peeling off the walls. This is the San Andreas house. You're not wrong. A girl! Alright, let's see if this explodes the entire video game. Maybe we're meant to do it in a certain order, right? Maybe that's what it is. Eh. Yeah? Just right through the wall, my guy? That's probably fine. Girl! Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, I pressed the M button to kill the music. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to phase! I pressed the M button to kill the music. Hold on. I got some streets in here somewhere. Where'd the streets go? Where's the big, like, streets mega mix? There it is. It's like a 42-minute mix. Alright. Let's put that real quiet. All right, let's go. Let's see. So we've just taken out one of the four gangs that we have to take out. Now we have to figure out where the hell our girl is now. Could be anywhere in this joint. Oh God, I'm getting juggled. All right. Need to turn that down some more. There we go. Where in Detroit am I right now? That is a dead end. Escape the dead end. We've got full health, so Nick rules. We've got that going for us. Neutral turf, okay. It was when we went this way to the scum dogs. That's where the game exploded, yeah? It's when we went to fucking... It's when we went to Pete's porn. That's where the game exploded. Yo, what's up, Shonen Sketcher? Help. <laughs> Eh? Whoa. Is this the only game I've played so far? Yes. I get asked that question a weirdly high amount. I need it explained to me... ...why that is. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if Pete's porn crashes the game a second time. We're going to ignore the first room. You die. Hey, the game survived that time. All right, so we still have to go to the sharks and the fat boys. Oh, here's fat boys turf. Eh. <laughs> Oh, big. <laughs> Hit a bug during the fight outside of Pete's port, probably. I mean, the way that the music exploded during that, I would not be surprised. We are now on the docks, doing Lord knows what. I do not remember which Streets of Rage album this giant, like, mega mix is from. It's on one of the, like, official OSTs for the game. There's, it just, it's Bare Knuckle Legend Mix. It's 42 minutes long. He's having a pleasant stroll along the docks. Die. We're not allowed to save the girl until everyone else on the screen is dead. Not a joke. Alright, so that just leaves the sharks then. Yeah, I assume that the line on Nick's face is meant to be... I assume that the line on his face is meant to be the mustache, but it's so much funnier if we assume it's, like, a completely blank expression and he has no nose. <laughs> the person on the box art's definitely not Nick the Hammer. I don't know who that would be. Help. <laughs> Transitioning to the character select screen. Very good. Wait. Was that sharks? Sick. We're in the right spot. I'm learning my spacing. This game's got jams. Would you like to hear the jams? Knife! Punch the next person that crosses my path, you got it. Wait, I'd have to drop my knife to do that, there we go. I'm gonna punch everyone on the screen. If I punch and spin in a circle, they have no way in. Oh god. Black Shield Legion. Donkey Kong ass jams. Well, we've worked out so far that the game has two music tracks, which is more than a lot of DOS games have, to be fair. <laughs> there we go. Everyone has been punched out. What? Is that the police? Die, come here. No, come here. 
He's dead. Good. Where is girl, is the question. Good. No, that's the fat boy's turf. I've gone too far. Good. That's a crime! True. Yo, what's up, Mudai? I mean, we are certainly fighting men on the street. Are we street fighting? Or is the street fighting man title given to somebody who fights the street itself, physically? The concrete, the asphalt? Learning juggles. Learning how to juggle in street fighting, man. Hideout? What have we here? There's nothing in the clothing store. Nothing but clothes, and we can't wear it. <laughs> Why is there all this clothing in the clothes store? It's a good question. There's a lot of you. You'll get looped, idiot. Oh, dude, I figured out Nooch. I can't tell if this kick button is good or bad. <laughs> it seems to have pretty bad range. Oh, girl! How to approach. How to approach. Eh. Huh? Yes! Nick the Hammer acquitted! Judge says kidnapping warrants action. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we apparently got arrested off screen and were then immediately acquitted. <laughs> Good. Good. Golly. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you killing illegal? All right, so we're That's done. Good. We're done in Denver, Atlanta, and Detroit. Gang-related deaths are skyrocketing in Los Angeles, which, according to the bottom of the screen, is a tough town. It's gonna get. It's gonna get pretty gnarly in L.A. It's that song again. Bad. Bad, Dina Brown, baddest man in this whole town, <laughs> madder than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. Thank you, Reg. The 100 junkyard dogs. Yeah, the lipsticks are here. Now there's five gangs that we have to worry about. And that's homeboy's turf that way. This is neutral. What's back this way? The scum dogs are this way. Uh-oh. Whoop! Oh, thank God. Yeah, we need to secure a weapon early so that we can get health. Oh, 
Every time we kill somebody, we get health back for it. Oh, Marty dies in one hit to the crowbar? This is good news. All these screens are kind of looking the same. We could be anywhere. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. What I do know is Max wants revenge. self-affirmations of the game. Love a game that tells you when exactly you're macho and when you're a bad dude. Finally, some validation in my life. Oh, warehouse! Oh! <laughs> Come here. Don't you run from me. Yo, Tappet Snake! Thank you for the 50 whole years! Oh, it changed to the other of the two music tracks. Tappet Snake, how would you rate this OST right now? Well, now there's no music at all. There it is. Bad enough to beat fat old men. Yeah, probably. Right. There's another intersection. I got punched out of the screen. This is the song that plays when you're at the front door. It's gonna keep kicking, and if you walk into it, it's your fault. Excellent. Freddy Lux 1985. Thank you for the 1,985 whole years. Ow, rude. Eh. <laughs> Jose is out for blood. Help. Compared to some other DOS uh, beat em ups I've played. This one is remarkably civilized. Completely dismissing the possibility that you can get infinitely juggled against a wall until you die. Completely ignoring that. This game is remarkably civilized. Did he, he just left? He <laughs> just fucking left. Yeah, nothing to see here. <laughs> he just showed up he's like, well... Not gonna tussle with this guy. He's already killed three men. <laughs> yeah, Pete's got a new business. I have a theory. Turn music off, turn it back on. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. Help. You'll get looped, idiot. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> you can see the light. Hey, we found Pete's oh, porn again. Big. There's multiple Pete's in this town. Or it's one <laughs> it's one entrepreneur who's going into everything. I love it. Yeah, Pete's must be a chain. can't kill them faster than they can spawn in. I'm out of here. See you later. Oh, God. There's more of them. Hard to tell where my hitbox is in isometric space, but that's okay. Yeah, it seems like sometimes when you do, like, land hits or get hit, the music just completely fucks up. I wouldn't be surprised if this was not an actual music track and it's just the game misbehaving. Like, the game could just collapse at any minute. There are so many goons in this establishment literally piling up corpses in the corner. Oh shit, he's good. Oh, I'm in the blender, y'all. <laughs> I'm in the blender. One day filing for a business license and accidentally opened up Pete's Porn Pizzeria Porn. He's good. Damn it. Ooh, oh, oh. All right. There we go. Back to the two back oh to the tunes. Gosh. I mean, I did tell you that could happen. It does happen sometimes. I'm not particularly surprised. <laughs> Nick is fucking dead. Was this the right one? Is this the right place? No, I think this warehouse is empty. There are nunchucks here. Are those better than the crowbar, though? Probably not. <laughs> Just keep rebooting the music track. Gonna be hearing this tune in my dreams, fellas. Can it defeat clown music as the ultimate earworm? I don't think so. That's him, that's the street fighting man. That is Nick the Hammer. According to the back of the box, anyway. He's apparently a really tough dude. But he is susceptible to being juggled to death infinitely. Though, to be fair, we can do the same thing to them. It's just a matter of don't get got. <laughs> Who dares text me? Okay, so we know that we're looking for... We know that we're looking for a Pete's porn. For the second one. Okay. 
on stream. We gotta get through this, and then we gotta get through, uh, New York. The final boss. Ah, oh, time to check my phone while I backtrack. Alright, cool. That was nothing important. How do we get back to neutral territory? What direction <laughs> were we going in to get here? I think we were going, like, southeast. So we have to go northwest back to neutral territory so that we can rescue our girl from the other four gangs in L.A. Ah, shit. I'm going in a circle. You're the labyrinth of L.A. Nobody can crack this code. There's nothing this way, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, we must have to go down and then turn farther right and then go back up and over the, uh, that way. go this way. It's one pixel eyes, yeah. I'm out of here. See ya later. I've already dealt with the scum dogs. We're not trying to tangle with these nerds. We've already rescued our girl from them. They're dirt to us. Oh, this feels right. We're definitely lost in the labyrinth of LA right now. Must figure out how to navigate Los Angeles. A tall task, to be sure. Ah, this feels rough. This feels like the exit of scum dog territory. This walk cycle. This is a man walking with purpose. This is a man who is fed up with his uh, his girl being kidnapped by every single gang in the United States, dude. Aha! Here we are. Yeah, it's a sick hop kick. I think that between my punch and kick, it's the better of the two buttons. Like, I can't really tell if it has more range. It looks like the punch goes farther, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, I'll take that knife, though. Wait a minute. No, I need the knife. Give me that. At this point, Nick is absolutely a killer. Nick has killed many men by this point. Lipstick turf. We've gone too far. We've not rescued her from the homeboys yet. Where was that Pete's porn? That's where she was. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it's hard to navigate LA in this game. <laughs> We're lost in Los Angeles. It couldn't have gone too far. <laughs> Surely it's this way. This feels right. Imagine it's hard to navigate LA in real life. I agree. I did not live there, so I cannot confirm or deny. <clears throat> but I wouldn't trust myself to be able to navigate a small town, let alone a big one. Aha! There you are! In before, this is the wrong Pete's porn. Okay. Can I just go straight to the back? Aha! What do I trust myself to navigate? My home. And the entire map of Kingsfield 2. That's about it. Oh god, we got put in the same blender. He got us twice with the same juggle. So yeah, there's no way out of this when you get... Once you start getting juggled in a corner, you're done. There's no way out of that. Yo, Lagon! I just realized something. Given how Nick looks when you beat the stages, the line on his face is Damn mustache. It. Huh? Yes, that is his mustache. No, I need that crowbar, sir. Thank you. The scum dog portion of this is very easy. The homeboys portion of this is very difficult. <laughs> but I suspect once we've cleared them out, we're home free for a while. Yes. Now, where was... <laughs> where was that warehouse? We must locate it. I think for the 100 bits leg on. I believe the warehouse was this way. The reason we got got is because of our positioning. We just need to not stand in a spot where we are up against a wall. Because any other time we get hit, we get knocked back to a reasonable, you know, location away from danger. But if you get trapped against a wall, they will perfectly time their follow-ups to make an infinite combo. It's only fair. You can use enemy bodies to create the same effect, like if there's a guy standing in the way of another guy. They will not be able to get knocked back any farther. There we go. You get some health for rescuing her as well. Oh, it just let us leave! It let us leave the entire turf. Oh shit, that was quick! Cool. Alright. Is the first AI uh, in a fighting game or beat him up that's able to infinite? Probably not. That is correct. We do not technically have to fight anyone. But we are a street fighting man, aren't we? What kind of street fighting man would I be? Where I did not fight on these streets. Yeah, yeah, gotta shoot everyone in Doom. <laughs> I 
I need y'all to just walk into this. S step into this knife for me, thank you. Oh no, what direction was Pete's pouring in? I've already forgotten. Aha! Alright, so what have we learned? We've learned that positioning is key. Do not position ourselves in the fucking danger zone. The bouncer. Uh oh. Hey, okay. Yes. There's quite a lot of you. There we go. Easy. Alright, so that leaves the sharks, the fat boys, and the lipsticks. Damn it. Pete's pawn and loan. We're already at full health, so we truly have nothing to gain from fighting these guys, except what I assume is some kind of invisible score counter. <laughs> yeah, Pete's prawns. That'd be a sick game mechanic. <laughs> if that's how that worked. Excuse me. See you later. There's another Pete's porn. But we've already rescued her from this part of town. They wouldn't put her there. Ah, here we are. Lipstick turf. Hello, miss. Blondie is a bitch, it says at the top of the screen. Help. Oh, okay, we got it. I mean, she did start throwing punches. There's gotta be... There's like loads of them in a gang. And they're trying to kill us? There's gotta be some nugget of truth there. Help. <laughs> no, nobody has a gun in this town. Jesus Christ. How much hit points? What a kick! <laughs> no, I need that crowbar. You don't understand. There's implied violence going on. You all have entirely too many hit points. Help. <laughs> oh god, I'm in the blender. <laughs> okay. Don't you run from me. Oh my god, they die in one hit? Girl is get. Alright, that leaves the sharks and the fat boys. How do we get there, is the question. This way. Just start going in a random direction, hope that it 
It <laughs> takes you out of town. Or into the other part of town. <laughs> I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> she was taken underwater to Atlantis, no doubt. There's a lot of these screens. They're all looking kind of the same to me. We might be in the Lost Woods, but it's like the, do the docks of L.A. instead. Oh, Fat Boy's Turf! Let's go, dude! No, give me the chain. Yeah, yeah, give me the pearl necklace. That'll do. Marty is going to kill us, if we allow him to. We simply cannot give him the chance. He did grab the chain, though. That's not great. All right, we got it back. We're good. Everything's under control. Hideout. Surely she's in here. I like what they've done with the place. <laughs> Nice, incredibly small pink sofa. Or purple sofa. Oh, hell, that just leads back out. Guys will live like this and think there's no issue. That was not the worst male living space I've seen. Get me away from all the walls. I want to be nowhere near the walls. Because we're just going to get fucking looped to death. We got Ord. Oh, we seem to have some free time on this screen. Here we go. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> You've nailed the facial expression. It's dead on. Yo, Nike! Uh oh. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Gotta kill the police first. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Nike, for the 22 whole years. Thank you, DT, for the ort. <laughs> it's so good. Also, yeah, Nick is a cop killer, according to the top of the screen. How goes the street fighting? It's going pretty well. <clears throat> this is the fourth of five stages. Oh, look at- they got all the weapons here. I think I'd prefer the crowbar. Can I grab the crowbar? Thank you. Entering shark turf, we've gone too far. We've left fat boy turf entirely. I'm just gonna spin in a circle with this crowbar out, and if you get hit by it, it's your fault. What is the hitbox on that? Why was that connecting from a mile away? Don't you run away with my crowbar. I would describe The Last Ninja as an isometric beat-em-up, yeah. It's definitely got some elements to it that are distinctly not beat him up though it's got some puzzle solving it has some very light platforming but you are primarily hitting dudes yeah 
I find Last Ninja 1 and 2 to be, you know, perfectly reasonable video games. I find Last Ninja 3 to be completely unplayable. <laughs> All these Jose's. No, I mean, it's, it's an impossible game for aliens in the sense that, like... I don't even know how I would describe it. It's... Uh, assumed that the player will take lots of attrition damage due to the way that the game's combat works. But there's also no, like, means to... <laughs> try and mitigate it. Unless you have extremely precise movement, but there's lots of cliffs you can fall off of. Sp uh, particularly on the first stage, which is on, like, some mountain cliffs. So, girl was not here. No girl. Girl gone. Must be elsewhere. I wonder if I was expected to go to the fat boys first. Maybe we should head back there. Oh, there we go. Fat boys turf. That is a dead end. Got it. The screen looks quite similar to the previous one. It's a very powerful strut, I agree. I mean, he's walking like he's pissed off, and honestly, I would be too if my girl had been kidnapped. I think... How many, well, how many are we up to now? We're in like the double digits. <laughs> We're in double digit numbers of kidnapping here. Yeah, it's the fourth time just here in LA. Oh, girl. <laughs> I'll save you. Stay away from the walls. That is, that's an enormous bed, yeah. Whoa! Hey there, hey there, calm down. Hey there, friend, hey there, pal. Hey there, bucko. Hitbox? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I like that it took her a while to get there. Back to the sharks, I guess. Alright, the sharks are the last one. Maybe we go back to that dead end, and maybe she's there now. If she's not there, then that just means that she's somewhere else in shark territory. Okay, yeah, so she was- so she's just not here, then. Elsewhere. Where in the shark's turf... ...is girl? We must figure it out. No, you can't go to the alley. No, you cannot. We've already tried. presence of an enemy on this screen leads me to believe we've not been this way. No, nope, gone too far. Fat boy's turf. 
down this way. That's also the Fat Boy's turf, okay. <laughs> I've never seen such heinous juggles in a beat-em-up as early as 1989. The juggles in this game, they're filthy. Much more so than any beat-em-up that was out at the same time. This feels right. Whoa! Help. If I just keep going in the same direction, eventually they'll stop throwing more screens at me. Oh, this feels right. This is another one of those dead ends we were at earlier. Maybe one of them was a decoy, and this is the one! It explains why there's such a heavy Jose protection. Aha! Oh, Nick rules! <laughs> Did you have to gag them, Nick? <laughs> I understand the hog tie. I don't understand the gag. <laughs> Bibiato beats they were the 46 whole years. All right, that's four of the five stages done. They were gonna put Nick drools. Yeah, it's true. You're probably right. Denver conquered, Atlanta conquered, Detroit and L.A. conquered, but dozens are dead, and there is big trouble in New York, the game's final stage. <laughs> no, Ohio? Ohio would be the most dangerous of all. You'd be lost in a cornfield. There'd be no way... Have you ever tried to leave Ohio? There's entrances, but there's no exits, dude. Wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> Help. The start of the game is the most dangerous bit. Because your health is so low, you can kind of just die to anything. Cool. We gotta build up. We have to build up a life bar. We lost our crowbar, though. It's gonna cause problems. Oh no. We're getting cooked. Yeah, Nick is a wimp with an H. Uh-oh, we're about to die. Come here. All right, we got a tiny speck of health left. <laughs> yeah, all the fat boys, they're just the same guy named Marty. Oh, shit, we're dead. All right, run it back. Actually, this is kind of good. We can get our crowbar back. This might not be the worst thing. There's a crowbar right up here. They just, like, give it to you for free at the start of the stage. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need this. Defend off this army of Martys. Build up as much strength as possible. You just gotta build up that early life bar. Killing everything you see. 
There's a knife. They all die in one hit. Yo, green herring! Hello, I see our character has a very good face. <laughs> very strong face. Yet to see a lipstick gang member throw a punch. We've definitely gotten punched by Blondie and Sung Yi. Sung Yi has a jump kick that we saw. Blondie comparatively does not do much, though, that is true. Oh, a hideout? Thank you for the 100 bits, Green Herring. Into the fat boy's hideout! Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's a labyrinth! Oh no, not like this! She could be anywhere! <laughs> yeah, even the houses are mazes. Ah yes, the blondie room. I like that all of these rooms are completely unfurnished. <laughs> no furniture. Nothing. We got a sick blue like blue wallpaper with polka dots. And we're just done decorating. Oh girl! Yes! Excellent. Okay. Girl is rescued from the fat boys. Now we have to figure out how to leave fat boy territory. Wait! We should go back and grab that knife. Let's do this the smart boy way. We should collect that knife. That is backwards. Wait, did it respawn the crowbar? No, it did not. All right. Let's find that knife. <coughs> we don't want to be without a weapon. You're gonna be hearing this song off stream. I'm gonna go offline, but in your ears, the song is gonna keep playing, and you're not gonna know how to shut it off. just randomly breaks every now and then. I have a hunch that's not even an emulation problem. I have a hunch that the game's just like that. <laughs> oh, we're in shark turf! What a whiff. It said Marty is fat. It sure did. What does that sound indicate? That sound is pre presumably indicative of something. <laughs> but I have no idea what. Global warming. Oh god. I almost got put in the blender. Killed too fast, bullets too slow, yeah. Help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can leave that pin. There's a hideout. Is our girl here? Maybe. Place is heavily guarded by an army of Sung Yees. Oh no. I 
cannot enter these, I assume. Okay. Frog Grace has been redeemed. Let's at least try and clear the game first. Because I feel like if we try to run a frog race while the game is still on, I feel like the whole thing's gonna explode. So let's just get out of uh, New York first, and then we'll do it. Alright, two of five done. It's part of the thrill, yeah. What is this immaculate spacing? Okay, we got her. No, that's fat boys. That's backwards. Yeah, roll up to the con, start jump kicking. It looks like it has really bad range, this jump kick. We don't get a full leg extension on it. <laughs> it seems to do higher damage than the punch does. That could just be my imagination, though. <laughs> His jeans are too tight, yeah. Can't bend. <laughs> It's gonna keep moving. I got pushed out of that screen, I'll just keep moving. I do not want to be against the wall. Eh. They're all still alive. Why are they so tanky? Help. Oh, thank God. We were stuck in the blender, but then he just dropped the combo. He had the TAC infinite. What I would like to obtain is a weapon. <coughs> but I don't know if there's any weapons around. There's another hideout. Where does this go? We still have three other gangs to deal with. <laughs> yeah, decorum, can't believe it. We need to locate the other part. We're, we don't need to be in shark territory anymore. We have to figure out how to get to the other three gangs. Oh, there we go. Homeboy's turf. It's easier than I thought. The wallpaper industries in shambles. Do people even do wallpaper anymore? I feel like people have not decorated their homes with wallpaper in a very long time. Nunchucks, let's fucking go! We're so back! It had a comeback some years ago. Mm. They tried to file a class action lawsuit against faulty wallpaper manufacturers but they couldn't make anything stick! <laughs> That's not girl. That is a chain weapon. Where on the docks? Has girl gone? Good. 
you all to mo. Thank you, no. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you for the 100 bits. Did I hear about the wallpaper kerfuffle of 82? It was a cover-up. Ah! <laughs> Chat room. Kill them with hammers. This is a very long dock. Oh, girl! Girl is get. Just a stack of dead Tyrones there. <laughs> I still don't know what that sound means. I have no idea why it plays that sound sometimes. I have no idea if the game has score. There are many mysteries in this game. <laughs> This feels right. Where does this go? New York's a very big town. Oh no, it leads to more docks! I'm in the dock maze. You wouldn't think such a thing would be possible, and yet... Ooh, lipstick turf! Okay. That's good, that's good progress. Cornered. Don't get stuck in the infinite. Okay. Just gonna go in a straight line. <laughs> Just gonna go in a straight line. Maybe it's right. <laughs> Which cities have we rescued so far? Uh, Denver, Atlanta, LA, Detroit. They die in one or two jump kicks. Am I taking crazy pills or... Oh, I've gone too far. That's lipstick turf. Am I taking crazy pills or does Nick's jump kick do more damage than, like, the weapons do? Oh, this feels right. Because they're dying in, like, one or two jump kicks. <laughs> but when we tried to fight Sung Yi earlier, we tried to fight Sung Yi with a crowbar. <laughs> we had to juggle her for, like, 15 seconds before she died. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Ha! 
How many? How many? There's so many. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's just the scum dogs, weren't they up here? Oh, dude, right, th right at the end. Just gotta rescue, rescue our girlfriend from one last gang, and we'll have saved the entire planet from all the gangs. The entire planet freed from gangs. These are the- this is the scum dogs, though, so it's probably gonna be a lot of Max. Max is very sturdy. <laughs> I'm out of here. See you later. Oh? It wouldn't be right here, would it? It wouldn't be this close. I feel like this is a red herring. <laughs> you get fucking looped. Yeah, just clip into the geometry. Oh my god, where'd he go? There's no way she's here. Oh, the whole thing was bait. Got it. She's not at Pete's porn. We can safely rule that out. <laughs> See what else we got in this direction. <laughs> you have to fight her because she's actually the gang leader. That'd be not an unheard of twist in a game like this. A second Pete's porn. Yeah, it does happen in Tough Turf. Oh, she's not here either. There are four blondies here, though. This corner is not where I want to be standing. Many bad things have happened in this room. Well, we're back up to full health. I have to be happy with that. Whoa! Another Pete's porn. He gets a lot of business here in New York. This one is completely empty. I like that every uh, branch of Pete's porn has, like, a shady guy by the garbage can. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> well, I don't know why every Pete's porn has to have the shady guy. Maybe that's Pete, yeah. It could be. The Bouncer. There is a lot of bouncing in this game. Like, physically. Due to the juggle loops that you can inflict and be inflicted by. Oh, you've created a hole. Uh-oh. I'm fine with this. They've created space. Entering hangout? This is a hangout? Oh. So it is. I have a very loose grasp on what my hitbox is. Particularly when I'm punching downwards. Oh, we're in the maze, boys! Right, that's the same corpse. Whoa! Multiple maxes here! I'll take it. If you're gonna give me a juggle, I'm going to take it. Whoa! Well, there's quite a lot of you. Eh. Huh? <laughs> Just getting bounced back and forth. Oh, that's what we like to see. Set up those loops, baby. The <laughs> Just one music note. Aha! There she is. You. Oh, yes! We've completed the video game! Girl is get. We can now retire from city life and go to Kansas. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, we're now going to Kansas. Presumably Street Fighting Man 2, which never came out. Presumably it just has you eradicating the entire population of Kansas. I can only assume. I believe the game loops from here. Like it just sends you right back to the same, yeah. <laughs> you don't unlock anything else, it's just those five stages. But we did do it. That took like two hours. Good. It's a pretty chunky game, probably because it's easy to get lost in these maze-like uh, stages, but we got there. All right, let's do that frog race that got redeemed. Yeah, no Kansas mode? You gotta unlock it. It's New Game Plus is Kansas. Okay. Frog time. We got some pretty strong contenders here. <laughs> Start prediction. Place your bets now! <laughs> yeah, it took them five city trips to learn their lesson. So, there were how many gangs in each stage? There was two, three, four, five, five. So, total, our girlfriend got kidnapped 19 times in that video game. <laughs> That's gotta be some kind of record.
You feeling good about your prediction? We'll have to see how it goes. Grog! Favored at 37%, nearly a three-way split between the other three frogs. Best of luck, everyone. Start the frog race! Who's got the lead? Two, three, and four. Frog number three pulls ahead ever so slightly. They're all at the line! Neo Deadly Frog gets there first by a single frame! I can't believe it! That was by, like, literally one frame. Pay it out to frog number three. That was insanity. No. 550,000 new yen awarded to 34 lucky winners. Nearly three dozen of you. Congratulations to all the believers in the Neo Deadly Frog. I can't believe it. I was so certain that he was not going to win, but he got there. Oh, <laughs> That's a big new yen payout. Congratulations Ooh. slash condolences. To everybody that won and or lost. <laughs> Metal Saga playthroughs paying off. Love to hear it. What else do we got in here? Damn it. They had to use the restroom. Can we run it again? Uh, For you, Rocket? Anything. Whose grave is that? Don't worry about it. It's not important. Yeah, 46% right now on the Grink. It's a big pay. Uh, that's a big, uh, a big bet. Potentially a huge payout. If Grink loses, I'm out. <laughs> Are you out of the stream, or you're just out of New Yen? <laughs> He's gonna be bankrupt. They're not gonna have enough New Yen left to watch the stream. Not gonna be able to pay their electricity bill. The Grink is at 36%. Can they do it? That is the question. Best of luck, everyone. Start the frog race! Frog number four pulls away first, everybody catching up. It evens out right at the end. Who gets there first? The Grink did get to the line first. Unbelievable. That was anyone's race all the way to the end. But the Grink just had that one extra boost. Had the little bit left in the tank. 504,000 New Yen given to 30 lucky winners. Congratulations. <laughs> The <laughs> future secured, yeah. Congratulations slash condolences. You made your money back. Let's fucking go, dude. What else do we got in here? What do we have in our... What do we have in our extremely dank old computer... beat-em-up category? We have to play... Manhattan Dealers for the Amiga. There's simply nothing else to play. We have to play Manhattan Dealers. You may also know this game as, uh... What's, what was the other title? You might also know this one as Operation Clean Streets. <laughs> Let's look at the back of the box. Yeah, good aura on the box art. You are Inspector Harry, and your your mission is to seize and destroy all the drugs smuggled into Manhattan. To succeed, you'll have to break up the international organization known as the Manhattan Dealers. But you'll need all your skill as your enemies are fearsome. In different areas of Harlem, vicious thugs spread fear and terror on the banks of the Hudson River. Evil vamps crack their whips in the most devastated slums of the Bronx. Pitiless skinheads and chainsaw maniac punks shed innocent blood. Cruel ninjas and invincible samurais, which, as we all know, roam the streets of Manhattan on a daily basis, control the streets of Chinatown. 
down. To win, you must defeat all your enemies and overcome the traps that have been set for you. But it's up to you to decide on your own strategy. Good luck, Inspector Harry. You got it. It's time to fist fight drugs. The concept of drugs itself. Where's my Amiga? Where did I put... Where'd I put my Amiga? You're around here somewhere. There you are. No, I do not want to check the unlimited enter uh, the unlimited energy cheat. <laughs> We're gonna leave that unchecked. Right. Designed and developed by Silmarils. I think this is, like, the first game they ever made. Instructions? We just read the instructions. But sure, let's read them again. Inspector Harry, missions to recover and destroy the latest shipment of drugs, which is in the hands of street pushers. Confront them, defeat them, and confiscate narcotics they are carrying. The drugs must be burned, and this will give you more life points. Yeah, burn the drugs, and it gives you health. Hold that thought, I need to... Attach this emulator to the stream deck so I can fiddle around with the volume slider. There we go. Cool. That seems to be as loud as I can make the game. Oh. What fresh hell is this? To move backward, four, one, or seven. <laughs> Be careful! Right and left depend on the direction you're facing. Alright, keyboard plus shift. Alright, these are your moves. Write this down. Write down these controls. You do a 2-3-6, Harry. Joystick. This is more of my speed. Ah, okay, so I can just hold the button and then push a direction to get a move. I'm ready. I'm ready to kill all the Manhattan dealers. Also, yeah, these are the people that made Robinson's Requiem, a game that I'm sure we'll get to at some point. Play the game. Hello, Chief. Your next mission is to destroy the caffeine ring. We're counting on you. The caffeine ring? Oh, hello, sir. Huh. Heh. Heh. Help. Aha! They're dealing with really heavy drugs, like caffeine. <laughs> Jackie Bryant. <laughs> He's dead. We got him. There are 19 kilograms of drugs on the stage. We have to collect them all and then burn them. Ah. My left ear loves this sound. Whoa! Oh, I, dude, I got a sick back kick. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a good sound. Big fan. He had three kilograms of drugs on him. So this game has a very small number of total screens, but they're all, like, incredibly detailed. Graphically, this game looks fantastic. Especially for 88, are you kidding me? Screens are way too detailed for 88. But... There's only one map in the whole game, and it's only got a few screens on it. You're right, cat. 19 kilograms of pure cafe, oh god. My <laughs> ear is under attack. My ear is under attack. So yeah, this is the... This is the trash fire in the corner that we have to burn the drugs at. Whenever we do... Oh shit. Whenever we burn the drugs, we do get health back for that. 
So our mission, our win con, is to burn all the drugs in that trash fire. The locals are throwing things at me. Hello, sir. <laughs> High kick, good. Isn't that evidence? Don't be ridiculous. sound <laughs> this game rules Marry me with my money. Manhattan used to be a respectful oh. place but then those damn ninjas showed up and started selling their damn ninja drugs yeah and this damn city has never been the same there must Even be those damn bastards are beating Henry yeah thank you thank you for the dollar you do I mean yeah uh, I assume we go to Chinatown, and then there's, like, ninja drugs that we have to also burn. There we go. Thankfully, our health does go up as we burn the drugs. So we have, uh, you know, consistent means of healing. We just have to run all the way over there to do it. Basketball! can't tell what my best button is. I've been I've been searching for my best button, but I don't know which one it is. Cool. Oh. Girl with whip. This game is so good. <laughs> this is a 5,000 out of 10 game so far. The sound design alone is so strong. Get Trey, Blaze. This man really died and said, hey. We, uh, she's probably, she's fine, I'm sure. She, <laughs> I'm sure she knows how to swim. She did take about 10 kilograms of drugs with her. Am I interrupting something? Oh, you want me to sit down? Okay, good. Help. Yeah, of course he said bonsai. Haven't you played Guilty Gear? You can just say any Japanese word, in any order. Eh. 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 Avoid the... Eh? There we go. Trying to not drown in the ocean. We have the remainder of the drugs on this stage. If we burn them, we clear the stage! <laughs> there we go. Stage one complete. <laughs> I like that they're still throwing shit at us while our score is going up for the stage clear. Yeah, just, yeah, just keep hitting them. Good work, Harry. You've smashed the caffeine ring, but the hardest is still to come. Your next mission is to destroy the nicotine ring. We're counting on you. Go get him. You got it, boss. Sir, yes, sir.
<laughs> yeah, he has this literally has a cigar in his mouth. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Chainsaw guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It's over. I have the low ground. I have the low ground, friend. What can you do about it? You're fucking cooked, dude. Ah, oh, got him. GG's. What sort of dystopia are we in? We're in Manhattan, dude. What do you mean? Okay, so alternating between high and low punch seems to work. Chainsaw guy's pretty good. We have 16 kilograms of drugs. We should probably burn this. have anything? Do you have anything of value, sir? Rude. A... 17 kilograms of drugs. Oh shit, there's another guy! Wait, let me get out of the danger zone then. I don't want to be in- I don't want to be on the bottom of the screen where they can throw shit. Is this neutral? Oh, he's dead. That's cool, they actually have a separate sprite for when they die against a wall. <laughs> That's a nice touch. hide in this alleyway? Because it seems like there's a sprite limit for, like, when they throw shit. You see how they're throwing shit at me from the windows, yeah? But there's, like, they can only throw so many before they're not allowed to throw anymore, <laughs> so we might as well just wait until we hit the sprite limit. I think we're at the sprite limit. Yeah, none of them are throwing shit anymore. <laughs> One kilogram. Uh-oh. Two! for the wall pressure. Now we're back to the... Now we're back to the dock? every time. <laughs> oh, shit. Projectiles? I didn't sign up for projectiles in my Manhattan Dealers game. See ya.
They have superior range. Yeah, step into this. Thank you. Nine kilos in our pocket. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, like, supposed to do that or not. It seems like if you crouch there, it initiates the fight. Wait, that's illegal. Okay, we got him. We're good. Yeah, I mean, that's still a thing now, Gale Pond. Can't go, like, can't go two steps in Manhattan without tripping over, like, a samurai. Complete with a samurai sword. There's just no way around it. They're everywhere. I have all the drugs. Now we have to burn them. Careful. Careful. Eh, eh, uh, eh. Can't wait to see the final boss. I don't know if any of the stages are any different other than, like, number of enemies. I do know there's five, though. DNO enriched from 700 new yen to 32,900. Every frog race won. Should I play Vegas Stakes or something? Yes, you should. You should play Vegas Stakes. I should play Vegas Stakes. Maybe someday. We'll get to that stream. <laughs> Right, what do we got next? Nice work on the nicotine ring. Who do we got now? Your next mission is to destroy the cocaine ring! We're counting on you. Go get them. You got it, sir. Yes, sir. I will eradicate all the cocaine from Manhattan. Shit, I gotta lure them somewhere where I can... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we put our back to a wall... We cannot get flanked by the other one. That's what this game's really about. It's about smart positioning. Can I lure you over here? Oh, I can! Sick! It seems like we want to try and corner them on purpose, yeah. We have a thousand score. One kilo. Back to the chainsaw guy. There's probably gonna be another guy on the stairs like last time. Yeah, of course. But this guy, I think we can just... We can just throw punches here. There's not a whole lot he can do about it. Just the way that you throw attacks in this game feels backwards because you have to hold the button and then mash the direction. You don't mash the button, you hold the button, and you mash, like, forward for punch. You mash up for kick. <laughs> it's very wonky. 
It doesn't feel quite as responsive as you'd expect it to, but it's fine. We can make do. Eleven kilos, dude! Yeah, the noise device. Not the bees, yeah. It's him. It's Captain Knife. We're getting nowhere fast, sir. <laughs> he didn't have anything. What? Okay, we're fine. This game British? I believe so. This is a Silmarils joint. So let me kill one of them. I don't care which one, just let me kill one of them. Oh, the French, gotcha, gotcha. Well, this is by far the most playable French video game. <laughs> Still 33 kilos out there. Wah! Okay, it's fine. Oh, he's dead. We got him. Sick. Join me in my battling nook. That is the nooch of this game. You just want to position yourself in a way where only one guy has, like, access to the same line you're standing on. Right? That way you can safely just fight the guy in front of you. You don't have to worry about getting flanked. It's weirdly jovial music for what's happening here. <laughs> We're fighting drug dealers. We're collecting and burning drugs. The music? Very happy and silly. <laughs> you got me. You got me fair and square. Helped by motorbike. <laughs> oh shit, there's more than one. Can I push you into the water? I'm standing in a bad place. Seems like we're fine. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a whip. Uh oh. Huh. I don't know where I could stand to, like, 
make it convenient. Because if they have a projectile, it doesn't really matter where we are. They'll always be able to just throw one. Wait, this kind of works. Oi! Right. Eh. How many is that? Four? We might as well try to heal up. Even if it's just a little bit, we should try to heal up before we go to that last bit. Eh. Chinatown, for sure, is the roughest part. The screen with the motorcycle is also quite dangerous, we've just learned. Maybe we just gotta, like, zigzag on that screen, yeah? Alright, that's all we're gonna get. Aha! We gotta zigzag on that screen in particular. I have no honor, I'm going in. Drugs? <laughs> Wait, he picked up the drugs! <laughs> he picked them up before I could! This screen is not as bad as the ninja screen. The ninja screen is way more dangerous than this one. <laughs> Just because they have projectiles. You gotta be so careful not to, like, make one wrong step there. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Crab meats, thank you for the follow. Oi. Superman? Was that Superman in the window? Yeah, there was Santa, too. Can't believe it. I love that they just pelt you with garbage while your score goes up at the end of a stage. <clears throat> Good work, Harry. You've smashed the cocaine ring, but the hardest is yet to come. Your next mission is to destroy the heroin ring! <laughs> Holy shit! I'll just wait for him to line up. There you go. <laughs> this guy's good. He has more range than us, so we can't really... out-nooch him. What we really have to do is we have to be throwing punches already and then have him, like, walk into it. I assume there will be a guy here, right? <clears throat> yeah. Hit. 
He does have a chainsaw. He looks quite similar to the chainsaw guy from all the other stages. <laughs> Or I think this will go five stages. I know for a fact there are only five. All right, let's hide in the nook. <coughs> hide in the nook while they fill the screen with garbage. took the drugs! Don't you run from me. I think that's the max amount of garbage. Yeah, P and K. So here's all of our moves, right? We have high punch, low punch. We have high kick. We have, like, a straight kick. And then we have... This, like, back kick as well. With my money. Life used to be good, but then Lois left me. And I got addicted <laughs> to orange kryptonite. And she left me for fucking Jimmy of all people. <laughs> if he yeah. weren't my best friend, I would throw him Too into heavy. the sun. I have a weight limit? I'm over-encumbered? Every drug gang has the chainsaw freak, the dominatrix, kung fu sensei. Y'all, oh, thank you, Trini. Thank you, Superman, as well. Let me burn those first. Oi! Oi. It gave up on the Russian? I'm not surprised. Do you know how many people have like, copy-pasted Japanese, and TTS just didn't do it. This has happened many times before. I'm not the least bit surprised. All oh, these dudes are good! How to approach. Okay, we got him. Fast roll less than 25%, medium roll less than 50%, fat roll 50%. Chat room. Analyze. What are they saying? They're trying to communicate. Souls, my lord, thank you. <laughs> the drugs on that screen are gone! Does that mean they got allocated to a different goon? Oh god. Zed. Thank you for keeping that mercifully short. I was so close to parrying that, but it was short enough. <laughs> Is 
So, I don't think that the knife guys on that screen are holding anything. I don't think on a single stage so far have, like, the guys on this screen had anything of value. So we're gonna operate on the assumption that we can ignore them. Alright. Can I dunk this guy into the water? Who dares? Yo, Jiggy! Let's go! We got him! Let's test Welsh Schlan via Pushl Gwingi Shl Go Gayara Hwiandro Bushl Schlan to Silio Go Go Go. I bet that was kind of close to how you say it. That's like the longest city name. Yeah, thank you, Jiggy, for the raid. Where are y'all up to? We're doing some, uh, totally normal beat em ups on old computers. We're big Amiga gaming right now. That's not even close? I thought it was the longest one. Hold that thought. A poem has been redeemed. Hit that button. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? It's never too late for them to rip into the fruit of our labor. Their ink-tipped claws tear and shred, leaving the juiciest of juices to desiccate amid the dust and spilled oil of a cold concrete garage floor. They do it in the name of profit, each hiding behind the next, carving into the most succulent with the casual ease of seasoned, smiling surgeons without the vaguest taste for the fruit they cut. Well, that seemed weirdly apt. <laughs> this is about taxes, yeah. We'll never know. You finished PC Nightfire. I didn't even know that game was on PC. I only played it on a uh, GameCube and GBA now. The GBA version was pretty wild. <laughs> I am tempted to I'm tempted to go back and heal before we do this bit. I feel like I'm going to get smoked in Chinatown. Oh, a different game called Nightfire is ah, I see, I see today I learned. Nightfire is probably my favorite. 007 game. Oh. I'm dead. He took my drugs! He took my drugs and he ran away! Alright, fair enough. We're going to Chinatown. Pretty much nothing then. I mean, if we game good. Actually, you know what might be a smarter idea? It might be smarter to go straight into the building instead of trying to fight the ninjas first. I think we have to go inside the dojo, fight the people. I think we gotta fight them first and then heal and then come back. Because this screen comparatively ain't that bad. Hype train choo choo. Thank you, Rev. Is there such a thing as a hype train? I've heard rumors, stories, and such. Oh, I gotta get rid of the little guy first. Gotta get rid of the little guy! We're positioned, uh, we're positioned in a, in such a way where we'd be hard to flank from here. Oh, he's trying, though. <laughs> Eight kilos? Okay, good. This train can hold so many scams. It's Yo. even conducted by your best friend, Scam Likely. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Okay, we got 15 kilos. We have to get back to the trash fire alive. 
And then maybe the ninjas are holding the remaining 15. The problem is the motorcycle. How do we juke the motorcycle? We might just fucking get run over again. We just gotta try to run diagonally. Zigzag across the screen. There we go. Oi! Oh no, we got killed by the garbage. That's alright. Retry level four. There's only five levels, so we're most of the way through it. Yeah, we got doinked by the garbage. Let's go to Chinatown first, I feel. We have a full life bar. I feel it would be tactically wise to try and deal with it first. The race Smash Brawl! You love our green hair? Uh... We're playing as the dude with the brown hair. <laughs> there we go. If we clear out Chinatown first, we'll have so much less to worry about. We got a lot of free hits in before the second ninja showed up. Just let me get one of them down. There we go. Easy buckets. <laughs> they wait so patiently. <laughs> we just run straight up and start fighting. There's no honor whatsoever. Listen. We gotta get these drugs off the streets. No one said I had to be a good sport about it. <laughs> You have a lot of health. This guy right here. I need to get this mook dead, but... It's hard to focus on him, because then we get attacked from behind by the other guy. There we go, okay. That simplifies matters greatly. I know you're holding like 10 kilos for sure. Never mind, he only had three. <coughs> We're still out of the hard part. We're out of the rough part. Where are we gonna procure 39 more kilograms of heroin? Do a jump kick? We don't have a jump kick. We have like an up kick. I'm standing in the wrong spot. I need to put myself against that fence. If I corner myself on purpose, you cannot flank me. Strategery. This is the happiest possible tune for this. 
an absolutely silly music track. Yo, 16, let's go! The Bouncer! Hey, hey there, buddy. Hey there, pal. All right, fuck it, burn the garbage first. Burn the drugs first. Oh. Good enough. I gotta stand, like, way up here. That way there's no possible chance that I get surrounded. He's got more drugs. <laughs> he took those drugs and ran. Well, those drugs didn't belong to me. I don't particularly give a shit. He's back. Quincy Morris. That name does ring a bell. Who is that again? I don't think these guys are holding anything. I don't think these knife guys are, like, ever worth the trouble. At least on the motorcycle screen. It seems like they were kind enough to not force you to fight on the motorcycle screen. So who's got the rest of it, then? Fucking, uh, John Chainsaw down here must have the rest? Haven't fought him yet. Ooh, maybe the kick. Ooh, maybe the kick on the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's holding anything yet. I don't suppose you're holding ten kilos of heroin. That's the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, there's a wasp in your ear. All we gotta do is burn it. Let's go! All right, we're on the fifth and final stage. <laughs> we got huge puntos for that. Nice job smashing the heroin ring. The hardest is still to come. What's the final stage? Arcadoine. Is that... I don't think I said that right. Which drug is this? I'm not familiar with this one. <laughs> yeah, to Google. We've invented a drug. They probably didn't, but I'm not familiar. It's gamer juice, it must be. Google turns up some Pokemon. <laughs> oh, you actually got Arcanine pictures. That's fucking sick. Scientific term for Baja Blast. It must be right. It must be true. Well, whatever it is, we gotta get it off the streets. Can't let the gamers get a hold of it. Is 
six kilos on that guy. Nice. What do you mean there's a hundred nine kilograms on this stage? Yo, the toe tap? Okay, only 99 left. Your favorite room, the wasp room. Twenty nine. Well, we were over encumbered while holding thirty previously, so we have to dump this off anyway. Oi. Take the fight up here. They are forced to attack me one at a time up here. There is no way that they can flank me. Problem is they both have a range advantage on me here. So we have to step in after each knockdown. Oh, he's dead. Good. Excellent. Amiga today? Certainly some amount. We spent the first two hours playing Street Fighting Man for DOS. <laughs> Neither of these guys were holding any drugs. Got it. I don't know how I avoided that. I have no idea how we cleared that bike. <laughs> Karate cut, maybe. That game would deserve its own stream, though. So that we could play a million billion versions of it. It's short enough that we could just run it... ...for like a thousand different platforms. Every so often we do a stream like that, where we just look at all the versions of a single game. I want to do it with, uh, Pit Fighter. That's probably the next one that we're gonna do that for. Because there's, for whatever reason, Pit Fighter released on 95 platforms. I have no idea why, but we'll probably do a stream where we look at all of them. Only two kilograms for that. So we're on this screen. Line up with the fence so that we can't get flanked. You were a buff five year old, you played a lot of Pit Fighter in the arcades. Yeah, that'll probably be the next one of those we do. I would also like to do that with Double Dragon 1, and probably Final Fight 1. But Pit Fighter is much danker at a baseline level <laughs> that that stream interests me more. Is there are Streets of Rage on the Tiger handheld, not to my knowledge. I could be wrong.
Game Gear and Master System Streets of Rage are both very good, though. Big fan. Also, the flip phone Streets of Rage is pretty ultimate. Yeah, there's a Sega Master System one. You'll have to trust that I'm not making that up. I have six kilos. We should... I can probably clear this screen and then heal up before Chinatown. We can probably clear this one. I, I don't want to dunk him into the water, because if he's holding drugs and they just disappear, we can't use it for healing. He stole my drugs. It's hard to hit him at all, because he's got the range advantage. There he goes. Oh, this is actually better for you to be facing this direction, yeah. <laughs> the drugs are wet! They're much smarter on this stage. They actually use their, like, superior range to play footsies. Yeah, look at that. They're actually much smarter here. That arcade Owen is dangerous stuff. Kids get a hold of one CC and all they're shooting them up for days on end. <laughs> Thank you, concerned suburban parent Santa! Can we get there in time? Can we get to... Can we get to the garbage fire? I feel like I need to try and bait out the projectiles here. Right? We need to lure them to the window. And then leave. That way we can safely heal up without getting doinked by garbage. I don't know what the garbage limit is, but we're gonna wait until we hit it before we... We're gonna wait until we hit it before we heal up. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, we're at the sprite limit. They can't throw anything else. We got about halfway healed. We got stabbed a couple times. Could have been worse. There's still 53 kilograms left. I wonder if we do have to kill those knife guys. Unless for whatever reason the dojo has 53 kilos in it. But I don't think it will. Uh oh. I prefer to go Welcome in the dojo the first. Get ready. Takimo, thank you for the follow. Can I get in the dojo first, please? Thank you. I much prefer this screen to the ninja screen. Nin ninja screen is comparatively a nightmare. The second one engaged in combat much faster this time. Oh god, all three of them are up! I will corner myself on purpose. Cool. Need to get these mooks dead. Oh, bless, we got him. Let's fucking go. Big trouble in Little Amiga. We have like a guru meditation error.
we, yeah, we kind of just have to sidestep and hope that he walks into our punches. He's got bigger buttons than we do, and we just kind of have to respect it. Twenty-five! He was holding a shit ton! Alright. We can easily heal up there, then. There's nobody left, except the knife dudes on the motorcycle screen, and the two ninjas. Now it's, entire, it's entirely possible that we have to fight the knife guys this time. I framed it, let's go. Who dares? Sakura dies, and thank you for the prime gaming. Would the two ninjas be holding 28 kilos? Could that be? They wouldn't be holding 28 kilos between the two of them. That doesn't seem right. being flanked. But I suppose the dojo master had 25 by himself. Oh, this screen's a nightmare. They're so good. <laughs> they, they play so smart. That one at nine. Doesn't quite feel like Manhattan. What do you mean? Don't be silly. I think we do have to fight those knife guys then. We only had nine, only nine kilos to spare there. The only two people alive left on the map are the two knife guys on that motorcycle screen. Fight great guy, I thought we did. Did we not? How do I even... They can throw their knives, that's a huge problem. My drugs! Actually, if he runs off with the drugs, that means I can just fight the one. That would not be the worst thing ever. Yeah. Him leaving the screen is, like, not actually the worst thing. Because having to deal with both of them at once would be so much worse. The PGM sounds a little drunk here. Not wrong! Yeah. There's still 18 kilos. I guess it's because they were stolen from me. But at least there's just one guy now. Whoa! This is not a safe screen for this. Is 
So he should have the remaining 18. He probably had some by himself, but then he also stole some from us. He should have everything that we're missing. And then we are done with the game. Ow. Problem is, his spacing is immaculate. We got him cornered, though. We no longer have him cornered. Oh, there we go. Frog race has been redeemed. Ow. Ow, rude. Just let me burn the... There we go. The game is complete. We've completed Manhattan dealers. All the drugs are gone. It's not gonna stop us being pelted by an anvil from the window by Superman. Good work, Harry. You've smashed the arcadoing ring. The mayor's really happy. We've done it. Don't you have anything better to do than just stare at me? Get out of here! <laughs> That's as much of a thank you as we got. Ah, get back to work, shithead. Get out of my office. <laughs> this game rules, though. I love the, the the way the game looks is great. The way it plays is it's got some input lag on every normal, but uh, that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right. Uh, Frog race has been redeemed, so let's pivot to that before we play anything else. Yeah, the Ginch, son of Grink? Is that the lore? I don't know which one is the son of which one. You've never won a frog race in your life. Today could be the day. You just gotta believe in your boy. Betting time is over. 33% of the bet is on Capcom Presents slightly less on the ginch and so on as you go upwards best of luck everybody frog number one has a decisive early lead frog number three is caught up frog number one's at the line already can he get there goliath wins the race they finish in sequential order exactly opposite the betting <laughs> that's, that's so funny the bets are on four, three, two, one in that order. And <laughs> they finish exactly backwards. <laughs> All right. What are the odds? That is a good question. Pay it out to frog number one, Goliath. 318,000 new yen given to 23 lucky winners. Congratulations to the 23 of you. Yeah, five to one on that for whoever won. It's a pretty good payout. Nice work, chat. Slash my condolences to whoever didn't win. <laughs> All right, close that. What else do we got in here? What do we got in our mysterious pile? Oh, beat them ups. Uh, how about... <laughs> it's gonna be really short, because I'm pretty sure this is like a five-minute game. Pretty sure it's literally like five minutes long. Let's take a short look at a game that's only in Spanish for DOS. Kickboxing Street! No box art whatsoever. Because I don't even think this had, like... <laughs> I 
think it was just like shareware. I'm not sure what the lore is. Let's play some kickboxing streams. Is that Van Dam? No, perish the thought. Don't be ridiculous. How dare you insinuate such a thing? Let me see here. DOS capture. Can you capture my DOS? Oh! He's here. Joystick. Redefine. I believe this is up, down, left, right. I think this is the attack button. And put that on, uh, put that on A for attack. Pause, sound on or off. There we go. I can now start the video game. Oh! Look at him go. Oh, what a move! Yes! Look at these normals! So as far as I'm aware, this game was made literally in like two days. <laughs> like, that's the only lore I was able to find on this video game for, uh, on a computer MU zone. <laughs> which has a lot of, like, dank Spanish DOS games. Yeah, it's like a game jam game. It is the easiest game on the planet Earth, because as soon as you land one hit, you can just mash until you win. The good news is we have 200 Puntos. We've got that going for us. The splits kick is the funniest move we have. But you see what I mean? You land one hit, and then you just keep mashing that same hit. This game is auto-fire, so it's not like you have to mash it. I'm just holding up in the attack button right now. And the game just solves itself. <laughs> it's called Boxing Street? That's not what the title screen says. I've done it. I've prevailed. But at what cost? The stages look nice, though. I'm a big fan. Got that crispy... The crispy... was a CGA? We gotta do a CGA stream where we just play blue and purple games all day. That's gonna happen at some point. We're gonna do... We're gonna do an entire stream in CGA. <laughs> This is a sick kick! So this is if I hold up back. Oh, don't worry, Shepsky. Every time I bring up CGA gaming, Nothing Excess yells at me, screams at me from the rooftops to play Alley Cat. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm well aware. Oh, no. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! We got him in the blender, dude! What are we playing? Alley Cat? I don't know. We'd have to concoct an entire CGA stream... We could play Kickboxing Street again, although I'm pretty sure we're going to 1cc this pretty easily. <laughs> 1,500 Puntos. It feels pretty good. Hello, miss. Ollie. Spin kick. Anonymous. With my money. Call this stream a German submarine, because with every new game we see DOS boot. I expected that to get much more offensive, but it was pretty harmless. Thank you for the dollar you do. <laughs> when I heard the setup for that joke, I'm like, this is about to be the most racist shit I ever did here, but it was fine. Thank you for the dollar you do.
I think they are wearing pants. I think they're just wearing white pants. It's unclear, though, to be fair. Oh, the jump kick's pretty good. All right. Oh, yeah, this screen looks sick. Get the skyline in the back. You're a big fella. You're a large... <laughs> Oh god, now I'm in the blender. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfectly timed meaties I've ruined. <laughs> Alright, run it back. Put me back in. Tejan propinado una buena paliza. I don't know what that means. Nothing excess <gasps> analyze. I'm going back in. I'm going back in for the 1cc. I love it. Here I go. You have been tipped with a good beating? That's, that's pretty good. Hold on, we gotta figure out the most optimal button. This one's pretty good. We have a high punch and a low punch. That's crouch. This does not appear to have any function whatsoever. Wait a minute. Are they not allowed to walk any oh closer gosh. than this? <laughs> Why is their attack so slow? How many startup frames is that? That is insane. I've never seen a worse button. The high kick seems good. Seems like a good one. I think the spin kick might be my favorite move. This one looks the most painful. Although the splits kick is the funniest sprite for sure. It's the way he looks right into the camera when he does it. It does look like food and toes, yeah. So Fuerza must be... Just health or life, I assume. Strength, thank you. I learned something today. I assume we were, I assume that we were on the final stage. And then we just got looped. Because it seems like if you score the knockdown first, then you win. But it seems like if they score the knockdown, then they win. Because there's no way to block in this game. <laughs> so you just kind of eat shit. Maybe you could wake up Crouch. Maybe that would work. But we should simply just not fall into that situation. And then everything will handle itself. I don't think the moves have differing damage, because we're rewarded with the same amount of points for all of them. I have to assume there is no functional difference in attacks, other than the fact that the split kick hits on both sides. Yeah, very smooth and natural rising animation. They just get back up in one frame. They do have a lot of health, is what I have learned. Whose kick is better, John Kickboxing Street or Shadow Eternal Champions? I wouldn't even say Shadow's got the best kick in Eternal Champions. There's uh, Rax or Raz, whatever his name is, he's got some pretty fucked up kicks. And lure you all onto the same side. Can you just step into this? Thank you.
Thank you. Ultimo. Clicks on armbands. That could apply to so many characters. Yeah, the splits kick is the funniest one we have by far. <laughs> I love when it lines up so that they're just... <laughs> This is the funniest thing you could do in this game. You could just set them up to fall down over and over like bowling pins. Alright, this is where we got smoked. There's two of them, yeah? Oh, they don't even fall down! <laughs> they don't even fall down when we hit them! There we go. They're dead. Did we beat the game? I like the Statue of Liberty back there. Ooh, there's still more! Hmm? Whomst? Whomst? Oh, look at this guy! <laughs> I love him. Yeah, it's a good face. Oh, got him. GG's. Oh, he's hitting that pose, though. Oh, big. I think we beat the game. I think we won CC'd Kickboxing Street. Which could be maybe the easiest game ever. We've done it. At least I think we did. Enhorabuena. Has vengado a tu hermano. Hmm. Well done, Turner. We've certainly succeeded. <laughs> GG, thank you. Well done, Turner. I did okay with that? Oh, bless. <laughs> We've cleared kickboxing street. There's nothing else in this video game. At least I'm pretty sure. I've avenged my brother, that's what that said, okay. I think it's time to boot up the Atari ST. I think it's about that time. Whip out our Atari ST so that we can look at WILD STREETS! Technically, this came out for a bunch of shit. This came out for... the Amstrad CPC, it came out for C64. I think there was a DOS one, there was an Amiga one, but... Before any of those, it came out on the Atari ST. So we're going to play the... I believe this is the original version of this video game. So that's what we're going to do. Play some Wild Streets. Yeah, this is a Lord Titus joint. Why the Jaguar? It's because we get a Jaguar. I hope that answers your question. A Super Cop and a Black Panther team together in a high-risk mission. A top, CS, uh, top CIA, I almost said CSI, a top CIA agent's been kidnapped. Find him. You know that action and fighting are inevitable. You have been trained to accomplish the most dangerous missions. In a very special police academy, you learned how to master the world's most secret and lethal techniques of martial arts. Your 357 Magnum will be with you to help you, but your hands and feet are more powerful and won't run out of ammo plural. Dropped from the chopper, you and the panther will explore the city slums to find the prisoner two ends. Your mission is to find him and bring him back to a safe place while, uh, while protecting him from the attacks of the Riff Raffs. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Outstanding. Whoops. Just wanted to get rid of those. There we go. Yeah, let's check out Wild Streets. This is an interesting beat-em-up in the sense that the best way to play it is to avoid all the enemies. Because they all respawn infinitely. And thus, the yeah, best way... The best way to play this game is to ignore as much combat as you possibly can. Put me in, coach. Boot that shit up, baby! Please hold. Takes a while to load up an Atari ST game. 
We might even get a like a logo. Whoa, Wild Streets! How will we get Puntos? I don't even know if the game keeps track of score. I assume it does. So the way that this game works is it's ten stages. Five stages we are going to the right, where we have to rescue uh, fucking John CIA. And then five stages going back the way you came to get him out. <laughs> You play the you play the stages forward and backward, and especially once you get to that second bit when it becomes an extraction mission, that's when you want to uh, haul ass and not bother fighting shit. Get ready for level one. Is this me or is this the demo? I'm not sure. I'm not going to hit anything. I'm just going to see if this is the demo or not. Dragonfly! Thing for the tier one. Ah, it's demo mode. Yeah, so you play as the guy in the sleeveless there. You have infinitely respawning enemies. Even the demo is trying to avoid combat. You have a panther with you who occasionally, and I stress the word occasionally here, will try to, uh, knock dudes down for you. Like so. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty chill about the whole thing. Alright, that's enough demo mode. Put me in. to drop the panther in from a fucking helicopter. <laughs> it's just the only way, dude. This version came out before they added music to it. So the other... Most of the other versions of this game do have some kind of tunage. This is like the original version where they didn't do that yet. <laughs> so there's just no music in this version. Help. Get out of my way! All of the enemies respawn, and so your primary objective is to clear the stages as swiftly as possible, such so that you are not overwhelmed. You'll know when you're on the boss of each stage, because the panther's life bar will disappear, and it'll display the boss's life bar. We're going to be making a lot of use of that jump kick. The jump kick gets us through the enemies. You got me in a blender here. Thank you. Nope. Nope, give me out. Thank you. We still have four bullets. What's the story? I mean, we already went over the story. It was on the back of the box. You could easily go back in the VOD to solve that mystery. <laughs> Can I pick these up? Oh, more bullets! Let's go! Here's the first boss of the game! He's dead. Good stage. <laughs> We're done with stage one. There's no music in this game. I'm gonna put the streets music back on. I still have the song paused from earlier. There we go. I just have like a 42 minute mix. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let this play. Let this play pretty quiet. Ready for level two. It's a mix on YouTube? Maybe. It's called the Bare Knuckle Legend Mix. Oh, big. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> Panther's going crazy! Help. <laughs> Give me some room, bitch! Yeah. 
You want to save some of your bullets for the boss. You don't want to actually have to fist fight the bosses because they will have a massive advantage. Not just in life bar, but they're all like gigantic human beings, so they outrange you by quite a bit. Oh, the burger shop! Programmers wanted the Titus logo! Yeah, I bet. It's him. It's Billy Boss Fight. He's dead. Yet on to next level. You want to save your bullets for the boss so that you can shred the boss instantly and then keep your ass moving. It's a good Jaguar sound, I agree. You get your bullets back. You get you reload your entire clip on each stage. Help. So yeah, there's five stages of walking to the right. At the end of the fifth one... At the end of the fifth stage, we will get to our CIA agent that we're trying to rescue. Then we gotta drag him all the way out. By doing these stages in reverse. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I did I anger the semantics in chat by calling it a clip? Kick has a surprising amount of range. We need to be using that more. It's got a bullet igloo, <laughs> yeah. Help. The jump kick is our best move by far, but the jump kick does cost us like two pixels of health. Do I have iframes during my gunshot? It seems like I do. Die. You know what, you can die. Oh, I, I tried to get him, but I couldn't turn around fast enough. So if you've ever played like, out of this world, or another world, whatever you want to call it, any kind of cinematic platformer, you're familiar with the concept of every step going a set distance. This game very much has that, so you might not be able to turn on a dime the way that you want. <laughs> I have not streamed Executioners for DOS. I am... Uh, I'm definitely aware of it. It's not come up on stream. What is this music transition? I think it's transitioning to the boss theme slowly. Do the enemies get harder? I think at some point they stop dying in one hit, yeah. But that's about the extent of it. Help. Oh, Panther. My beloved. Yeah, the Panther is not remotely 
worried about what's happening here. Occasionally, the panther helps. For the most part, panther, uh, panther can't be bothered. I'm kind of getting cooked. I'm in the blender. I'm trying to mash out my jump kick. There we go. If you're gonna get your jump kick out, you have iframes for pretty much the whole duration. It's just a matter of can you get it out. There's a pretty significant amount of input lag on buttons. This being an Atari ST joint, I'm not too surprised. Gun. Gun. We got him. Get me out of here. All right. Ready for level five. Level five is probably the hardest stage. Because this is the only one that you have to do forward and backward. Like, at once. I don't know if you're given a health refill. I assume you are, but I'm not 100% sure. Bad! <laughs> nice graffiti on the wall. Give me some room. Out of my way. They have better range than I do on my normals. Oh God. I'm just gonna try to mash out my jump kick. That's the only way we're getting out of the blender. Thank you, Jaguar, for doing something. <laughs> yeah, we screen transition. There's just already somebody there. Or they'll put a guy on the very edge of the screen like that. We got to go a few screens without any trouble. That's not too bad. Hello! Oh, big. Oh, big. That was a large lad. No. Oh, it's the guy! We gotta rescue the CIA guy! Get away from him. And now, with him in tow, we play all the stages backwards. Now, they're going to attack him the entire stage. The reason my life bar is going down without actually getting hit is because they're not fighting me. They're fighting the guy behind me. Now, this essentially puts every stage from this point forward on a timer. They do, they keep that screen in memory. Yeah, we are life bonded to the CIA guy. That means that we gotta get our ass up out of here before he dies. Because you can hear it, they're just wailing on him. So the remainder of this game is just get out, pretty much. Run as fast as you can to the exit. Get ready for level six. We got more bullets now, at least. And there's no more bosses, either. Which means we're free to spend bullets on people that are just in the fucking way.
Nobody can walk to the left better than I can. Where's the panther? The panther just left. I guess that the game could not handle us having an AI panther buddy and an AI CIA buddy at the same time. <laughs> so the game's like, well shit, just get rid of the panther. I mean, presumably the panther just left. It didn't seem like we had much of a leash on the thing anyway. Help. Out of my way. Out of my way! Stick with me, Mr. President! Oh, God! Now, Mr. Radon... All CIA agents can animorph into panthers and vice versa, <laughs> but you didn't hear that from me. The truth is out there. <laughs> I'm willing to believe that. I don't have a better explanation, so I'm willing to accept that as the truth. <laughs> Help. Whoop. <laughs> 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 All right, we're well on our way. Oh, what is this drop that they're building up for? We are playing some Streets 2 Hot Jams. This is what I can only assume is one of uh, Koshiro's like, DJ sets. It's just like a bonus track on one of the albums. It's 42 minutes long. <laughs> Another one. Another one. I'm running out of bullets, lads. Yeah, the gun will one hit kill anything that's not a boss. Level nine. Yeah, I mean, sometimes a game just doesn't have music. Now, later versions of this game do have music. The Amiga version of this has music. But I'm pretty sure this is the, like, original version of the game. I think this is the one that came out first. I am. I'm in the blender. Give me out, thank you. Oh, they do start to take more hits. I mean, everybody copies somebody in music. That is very much how music works.
Where to spend these three bullets? The CIA! We just wanted to hear if you rescued the CIA agent. We just he did. one part of a special code to our main computer. The other half is with the panther. <laughs> you still have the panther with you, right? Panther? What do you mean? We've done it. We've cleared the video game. No fanfare whatsoever. They're just like, yeah, you did it. Nice work. <laughs> That's the whole game. Nah, the agent made it out. I mean, we weren't supervising him in any way. Well done, Turner. We were definitely not. We <laughs> we didn't really cover him. Well done, we just left because well we done, figured, Turner. well, the enemies are going to respawn anyway. Best thing we could do to save both of us because our life bars were linked via one meter was to just get out, right? <laughs> the best thing we could do is just try and leave. Enter my name! Oh! Oh, I love the way he does that. <laughs> he kicks the... <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Big fan. We've done it. We've cleared wild streets. Music and sound. Christophe Fevre? I probably didn't say that right. 89, Titus. We should play more Titus games. To scare people. Because every time people see the Titus logo, they're filled deep inside with a deep fear. <laughs> I think the game loops. Yeah, it just goes right back to level one. Nah, we've cleared the game. I'm happy with that. We did already run Evil Zone, that's true. I wouldn't be opposed to playing Evil Zone again. But we'll see. Let's see here. Bad Street Brawler! Let's stop fucking around. We gotta play some Bad Street Brawler today. A.K.A. Street Hassle. A.K.A. Uh, Bop and Rumble. Whatever you'd prefer to call it. Yeah, there's gorillas. This is a goofy-ass game. I actually don't have strats for this game, so I assume we're gonna get fucking smoked. I wouldn't be surprised. This came out for a bunch of things, too. This came out for, like, C64. Came out for DOS. Uh, this one got an NES version some two years later in 89, but we're playing... DOS version. Look out! The city streets are overrun with gangsters and gorillas, muggers and madmen. No one is safe. Not even defenseless little old grannies. With chaos and confusion on all sides, we need help. And fast! In the midst of this mayhem, you arrive on the scene, dressed in running shorts and armed only with your quick wits and lightning-fast reflexes. Using every move in the book, from wrestling throws to karate kicks, you take to the streets to let those thugs have it. You've got what it takes. So use it to single-handedly flatten all opponents in this action-packed fight to the finish. I don't think this game has an end, right? Doesn't this game loop? I think this game loops at some point. We'll see how we do. <laughs> Two-player mode, it claims on the bottom. Take turns with a friend as you compete to crush all attackers. You got it, boss. Let me recapture my MS-DOS. That would be uh, this one. There we go. I assume the NES version has an end, yeah. I can't imagine they would... Leave that the same. Oh, yes! Mindscape. I like what I'm hearing. So this is the demo. 
Well, that was the demo? I got to watch it for two seconds! Stage one, one player keyboard. I prefer joystick, thank you. Do I get to pick my stage? I can only choose between three stages. Does that mean that there's only three? Or do you, does that mean I can only start from three? Regardless, we're starting from one. All right, what do we got? Yes, I have a grab, I have a punch. I have like a little trip move. <laughs> oh, what a kick! Come here. Yes! Do I have diagonals? I don't think I do. I have an absurd jump. Hello, miss. Kinda getting smoked, I won't lie. You can walk into this, thank you. This game's absurd. The jump restart the music. I think it occupies the same channel. So it completely overrides it. Yeah, we've been told about, like, dangerous gangsters that we have to watch out for. DOG?! Oh, the dog is powerful! Aw, oh, he's a nice boy, I take it back. <laughs> oh my god, he's good! Granddad is incredibly powerful. I believe that each stage... I don't know if it has to do with like a point threshold or what, but I'm pretty sure we learn new moves as we go. Which is pretty sick. Yeah, the wall bounce combo into itself. Stage complete. I'll take it. He's supposed to attack the grannies? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, so now we have new moves. <laughs> we have whatever this is. Am I giving them a noogie? What's going on here? Is this version compatible with the Power Glove? Yeah, this MS-DOS game? Yeah. It does sound like sticky keys, you're not even wrong. <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> Monkey's incredibly powerful. What have we learned? We've learned to... Uh... Exercise extreme caution when we fight the monkey. <laughs> the way they look up when you jump is pretty good. I'm not sure if the spin move is good. I'm not convinced of the value of the spin move. Damn. So our little, like, trip knockdown does not seem that good. Is this, like, it doesn't deal much damage, if any. Like, we have to use it multiple times to drain their health, even one square. But the knockdown itself is valuable. Oh! 
That's a big hitbox you've got there. Understood. Oh, got him, GG's. <laughs> Good, excellent. Rotate! Oh, I can hit the bombs. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> if you run into multiple old men at the same time, you're just cooked, dude. We must learn the counterplay for when there are multiple senior citizens attacking you. Oh my goodness, you just get shredded? We do have the top score, though. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's weird, because your moveset seems more helpful on stage one, because you're not locked into these lengthy grab animations. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, the wall bounce into itself. It only works if you're near the corner, though. So which moves you have change from stage one to stage two? Is this what the U.S. is like? Yeah, it's just like this. This is how it sounds every day where I'm from. It's all MS-DOS, like beeps and boops all the way down. You, you get used to it. Eventually. Okay, spin kick is very good. That seems to be what I'm expected to do for crowd control. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, there's not many ways to, like, incapacitate one long enough. <laughs> for you to deal with the other one safely. You just kinda die. You can rotate to deal damage. It's quite nice. But you'll almost certainly get hit by the next guy while you're doing that. He dropped a heart! Let's go! So they're not always bad. They can drop good shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Need to figure out a way to force knockdowns. Is that a gorilla? Don't worry about it. Okay, so the hitbox is the entire screen. So you are forced to, uh... You're forced to deal with the bombs by, like, tossing them. You just have to. It's alright. We're acquiring the necessary data to succeed. Seems like it's going to be mostly a matter of making sure there's only one guy actively attacking you at once. Help. 
Oh no. We don't really deal damage quick enough. That's the main issue. I think that's where the spin kick comes into play, because it keeps the one it keeps one guy out while you fight the other one. That's probably what we're expected to do. Yeah, it seems like the play for sure. Seems like the best move we have by a significant margin. Oh my god, they never stop. Backgrounds only three colors. To be fair, that's more than like... <laughs> that's more than a CGA game. CGA games have like four colors total, I suppose. Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling it's about to get Swiss cheesed. Okay, so now we have a knee. Whether this is better or worse than what we've had is... I guess we'll see. What is this chest bump? Yo, dead kid, thank you for the seven whole years. I have a chest bump move now. I can't tell if it's better or worse. We got the top score. This music is going to drive me insane. It's not gonna be the Robo Trek music that does it. Or even the Street Fighting Man music. It's gonna be this tune right here. Oh no, watch out for the dog! Dog's the real threat here. Is what I would say. Yeah, very interesting ground move. You just kinda... You just grab, you just hold down in the attack button and you just kinda automatically grab whatever comes nearby. I figured that dog was coming back, but seemingly no. This street Haslet sure is. We're playing the DOS version. There's definitely some prerequisite tech that we don't got, though. Struggling mightily to make much progress here. The game feels fantastic, though. Of all the games we've played today, this is easily the most responsive. Swords don't work for me, brother. I'll book myself to take your belt. <laughs> Very good. What was that damage? If you get got in this game, you just explode.
I'm pretty sure we're giving out noogies. Yeah, that appears to be what this move is. Get rid of that bomb. I like that we didn't even kill that last guy. He just got up and left. Oh no. Jesus Christ, the damage is so high! You're not allowed to make many mistakes in this game. Is that Andre the Giant? I think that was just a monkey. Jesus Christ! Crowd control is very important in this. Yeah, monkey. Shitting out monkey damage. It does seem like you have iframes while jumping, though. That's probably something you're expected to make use of. I put back in. New plan, try to get as much mileage out of this kick as possible. Sadly, it cannot hit multiple targets at once if they are, like, stacked on top of each other. That would be nice. There's a screen lock here. Yeah, we're gonna try and use this back kick as much as we can. It doesn't knock down, but it does knock back. You missed the janky Amiga port by the same people who made Franco. No. I assume you're talking about an Amiga port of this game, in which case, yeah, no, you have not missed such a thing. Your damage is so high, Mr. Monkey! The good news is, if we land one grab, we win. <laughs> That's been the theme of a lot of the games we've played today. If you get them, you automatically win. If they get you, you automatically lose. Yeah, we just gotta keep- we just gotta continue to discombobulate as best we can. Sometimes you just get shredded like that, though. Checkpoint system seems generous enough. They did not put us at the start of stage two. All right, stage three is where we lost all of our lives. <laughs> all we really gotta do is get far enough to reach a checkpoint, and I would be content with that. We mugged that monkey to death, or did we noogie him? Yes, we did. 
We lost the Noogie, though. Now we have, like, a chest bump grapple. Which does pretty good damage. Oh, no, it's like a knee. Never mind, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I tried to grab the dog, but I grabbed the old man instead. What? <laughs> what a trade! They checkpointed us at the dog, which is pretty generous of them. Dan fan. Ric Flair versus Street Punks. You love to see it. <laughs> that would not be a close contest. <laughs> oh no. They can jump over that attack. What? Who the hell are you? <laughs> what is happening? I'm scared. All right, fair enough. How do we do any of this without losing all of our HP? It seems impossible. At a glance. There must be... some kind of esoteric strat... that we can apply. But at the moment, I'm not sure. How many stages? I think there's supposed to be five stages that loop, I'm not sure. Spin the wheel, make the deal. Big Van Vader is waiting at the White Big Castle Van of Fear Vader. for your brawling finesse. Oh god. Yeah, whenever they stack on top of each other, we can't get much done either. Because we aim for one, but we accidentally hit the other one. Thank you, Ultimo, for the 100 bits. Let's just start at stage three, then. We are allowed to start from there, which is nice. I believe this is Beam Software, yes. Not the dog, oh no. We're just trying to hit a checkpoint, really. I don't care how we get there. Yeah, just fucking grab everybody. Oh no, another one. You wouldn't dare jump over this. Thank God. Oh, wait, we got him. I wasn't quite aiming for him, but we did just get it. Shit. Hopefully that put us after the boss, at least. No, I don't think it did. Oh no! We gotta put the blender!
she... It's very easy to take 100% damage. He's on the bad street of town. That could mean anything. I cannot do my, like, down grab on him. That's an enormous problem. He's not very good at street brawls. It does feel like these granddads are extremely skilled at what they do. Primarily, it's that their damage is higher than yours, which is fine. I don't mind that. But there's a lot of attacks that we need to hit, like, multiple targets that does not hit multiple targets. He's easy to loop once you hit him the first time, at least. Does this have power glove support on PC? Somehow... You are not the first person to ask that question. <laughs> oh, what is this chop we have now? I love that our moveset changes every stage. What does this do? Good. Those fucking things are public enemy number one. There's so many monkeys! Help! We're getting nowhere fast. We are standing on a respawn point. I'm sure of it. <laughs> we were standing on like an infinite monkey spawner there. Oh my goodness, the damage. We just fucking exploded, oof. You step into this! Bad Street Gramps! The secret behind me kicking your ass is that I did a combo, where I can do a combo into another combo with a super. Very that good. combo is not landing any combo. But when you knock down, it's still a combo. You understand? Thank you, Chris Who. Truly one of the greatest philosophers of our time. Yeah, here's another situation where we have to down grab the dog, but if we accidentally hit the old man with it, we waste our down grab on the old man and then the dog, like, hits us. Whenever there's enemies stacked on top of each other like this, it becomes a big problem, because we don't have any moves that can hit both. Oh, no. Oh, he jumped over it! He's a genius! Timer's pretty tight on these stages, too. You kind of have to haul ass. You're only given two minutes? You gotta go, dude. Oh, no. 
I did not get the bomb out. Grandy God, thank you for the 11 all years. Might be an impossible game for aliens. Yeah, this is the only thing seemingly that can hit this dog. But when you go for it, sometimes they can hop over it, which is also a problem. Thank you. Cool. Oh no. We almost were too... <laughs> we were almost too close to the bomb to get rid of it. Ah. Okay, chest bump seems like a much easier way to deal with those guys. Giving you Trio the Punch vibes. I have to agree. It's a completely different, like, flavor of style, but... The way the game feels is kind of similar. Help. Oh no. You give that old man an inch and he'll take a mile. Let's run this back one more time. Yeah, activating your sticky keys. It does sound like sticky keys. Fuck. We're going to set up meaty kicks. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. Sometimes those guys drop health ups. I feel like I desperately need them. Probably get some mileage just out of like <laughs> going real slow with it. We have to go out of our way to uh, not get sandwiched. Yeah, we just gotta chest bump him. That's the way to do that. Finally, some applicable tech. Yo, it's up TDX. Are you just gonna leave? Got it. Oh, cool, we're done with the stage. Alright, we're back up to stage four. <laughs> Is that bulk poking? I'm sure he was supposed to be. Don't let these granddads live on the screen. The screen belongs to you, don't let them have it. Seems like it's wise to just throw them and then keep moving. You're removing the threat from the screen. Oh, 
Oh no. That's too long an animation to go for. Yeah, a lot of the enemies in this game, they don't seem too fussed with what you're doing. Some of them will go right past you. Without a care in the world. Oh yeah, you would no don't try to skip the monkeys. They will get pissed and do 90%. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> yeah, that lady definitely wants us dead. That's okay. Oh no, there's two of them! Who are you? I could not grab him. We tried to grab him and then he laid on top of us because he's too big. He's too thick of a boy. Oh, big. Just gonna keep throwing stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep throwing them while marginally advancing forward. Oh no, I've only got one pixel though. <laughs> we both died! Alright, fair enough. <laughs> we'll have to concede to Bad Street Brawler. Uh, Bad Street Brawler, it's too powerful. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah, the double KO we traded? That's alright. We take our lumps on the bad streets. <laughs> what else do we got in here? E. Yeah, it's a powerful old man, for certain. What's even danker than that? Oh, I know what's danker than that. Kung Fu Louie versus the Martial Art Posse. MS-DOS, 1989. No box art whatsoever. It took me a long time to work out the controls of this video game. Because it does not play... Anything like any of the other DOS games I've played before. You had this game as a kid? Sick, dude. Kung Fu Louie. Yes. Ah, uh, this one. Press any key when ready to load the game. Thank you for enjoying... Thank you for selecting an awesome product. Yeah, yeah. Put me in, coach. Sometime in 1979, Kung Fu Louie became a black belt. You are now ready, Louis son. <laughs> That's the whole intro? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is the entire control scheme. A, S, D, and F are all your attack buttons, yeah? You've ASDF. I think A is your punch, and then S, D, and F are all different kick buttons. So we've got this one. We have like a spin kick, which is pretty bad, I won't lie. And to move left and right, if you look down at your keyboard, moving left and right is uh, on period and comma. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so, too. We've got very stubby buttons. Eh. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, there's multiple guys! So as far as I'm aware, the lore of this video game is that the martial art posse is not the name of just a group of people that use martial arts. It is literally the gang of a guy named Arthur, the guy that you took out in the intro <laughs> because you graduated from fucking karate school and he didn't. And he got really salty about it, so now he's trying to kill Kung Fu Louie. Yeah, Marshall Arthur. As far as I'm aware, that's the lore. All of my buttons are incredibly stubby, though. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. Unless we Assume that they'll step into our buttons, right? Because the the problem is we cannot approach level two the subway. Take no L's. Never taken an L. Unless you count the countless L's we've taken live on stream. Wait, is this the strat? I think the strat is to throw high kicks. On the assumption that they'll step in. It seems like the trick is not to move. <laughs> it seems like the less you move, the better. Yes! Why does everyone have a mullet? It was 1989. That's just how people looked. Okay. Like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Is that three in the corner? How many are how many like opponents are left on the stage? Because we're gonna be in trouble. I think it is. Yeah. Wait. Can I just like put myself in the corner and then just start mashing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why does this work? It looks like they heal over time if they stand there. That probably applies to us as well, albeit probably slower. I don't think we're ever gonna land that spin kick. Spin kick is- Oh, we got one! So it's definitely our strongest move, it's just like, how are you ever gonna land this thing? There we go. Level 3, the city, let's do this Kung Fu Lu! I love the backgrounds in this. I think of all my buttons, this is my favorite one, visually. This is the silliest kick I could possibly throw. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't step into this, dude. It's an unbeatable wall of foot. What are you gonna do about it? He's gonna stand there, and he's gonna regenerate health, is what he's gonna do. He's a genius. <laughs> he load in the next move. Oh, what a spin kick! That's really what it is, I just have to press the buttons at, like, a timing where I think they're moving in. Frog Race got redeemed. I don't think this game is pausable, so we're gonna have to just play out the attempt and then we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Here I go. You <laughs> ma can't pause the game! I don't think you can. I don't know if this game has such a thing. Pause key? Unbelievable. Can't believe there'd be such a thing as the pause key. Sounds fake, sounds made up. Got his goofy ass. 
Level four, the hotel. Ice em, boy! Please don't ice me. It's okay, we're already right at the end. I believe the top of the hotel is the final stage. We just gotta get through green Homer Simpson. Help. <laughs> there are five opponents on this stage. <laughs> you thumb-looking man! You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, he's good. There we go. I just gotta press this at a weird... If I press it at a weird rhythm... They just frequently step into it. And that seems to be how this game is played. Yo, was this loop? We got him in the blender! Good. Ninja! Oh, what a spin kick! This just makes me want to play more ninja golf. This is the last opponent for this stage. After this, I believe we go straight to the top of this hotel. I like the singular broken plank designed to keep us out. Or maybe it's implying that they broke in the posse. Mmm. There we go. Level 5, the rooftop. The final stage against Marshall Arthur! <laughs> oh, he's good. Nah, eat this kick. <laughs> the clock necklace. <laughs> you can't step into this. What are you gonna do, my dude? You are kind of pushing me into the... You're kind of pushing me off the roof, which I don't appreciate. There we go. Thank you for giving me room to step. Oh, shit. Yes, we got him! Hey, I was just kidding. Okay, I'll spare you. Oh, there he goes. He's dead. I was just kidding. Well done, Lewis son. What happened to Arthur? He's all over. I'm forever grateful to you. You've earned my title, The Master. We've done it. We've won the CC'd Kung Fu Louie. Easiest? No, it's not the easiest game ever. This was definitely... This was definitely a more difficult game than... Uh, Kickboxing Street. <laughs> Alright. A frog race was redeemed. Yeah, those are, very, those are some very short games. We I like that there's no mid-range... With the fucking beat em ups we've played today, they're either two seconds long or they're two hours long, like Street Fighting Man. Either way. Let's have a frog race to play us out, because I don't have much else planned. <laughs> place your bets! This is the last frog race before we get the hell up out of here, so if you're gonna go big on this, now's the time.
It's the title character. It's Frog from Race. <laughs> You're winning it all back. Let's find out. Only one frog gets to win. We do have a John Frog race, yeah. <laughs> we do have a frog named John Frog race. All right, betting time is over. Frog himself, Lord Frogsworth, 29%. The Windfish Lick Joe, not that far behind. Best of luck, everyone! Oh, it all kind of evens out halfway through, though. Frog number four is at the line! He did win. Frog... The titular frog from the frog race. I mean, should we have known? He is the main character. <laughs> Maybe we should have assumed. 521,000 new yen given to the two dozen lucky winners of the frog race. He is, yeah, maybe he is the Keto Keto King. And we just kind of have to accept that he's the protagonist of the frog race. <laughs> You're on a winning streak? Let's fucking go. Unfortunately, that's about all I've got today. <laughs> I don't have much else planned today. We beat some shit up on old computers. We've accomplished our goal of punching dudes on on some dank PC gaming. So let's uh, get the hell up out of here. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, uh, what is it people do? Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, or uh, whatever it is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like Gary's on. Gary's doing, uh, oops, all ABBA, because ABBA just came out in uh, Guilty Gear. Throw scoots at... Thank my you. good friend Gerald, my you. good friend Garens. Throw scoots at him. If you don't have scoots, throw oh, rack sure. attacks at him. We'll be back on Friday with, uh... With what? What are we doing? I have no idea. Maybe we'll just go bowling or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> it could be anything. Anyway, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye bye